Welcome guys and good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Eureka main event live from the King's Resort in Rosvedov. This is the final day. Belts and airbags for this one. One hour blinds are, are in the air. Let's go. Got a star studded. Your table to get things underway. Luca Bohovic with 45 big in second place. Virus, who is exactly what he says on the tin, he gets into people's heads, really infects people's thought processes and makes them do weird moves. He is in the mix once again. Unbelievable to see him making another run. He's had so many results at the King's Resort. King's Resort legend at this stage. He is at this table also. We've got Adrian Dan from last night. A couple of new faces. Marius Nixon, Robert Rollett. Then we had a feature table last night also. And Ran Collar is the shortest stack here. The eight pigs. We also have Andreas, who was at our feature table. So a lot of familiar faces. I'm really excited for this one on this Monday afternoon, and I'm probably the only man in Ireland who can successfully stay. They did not have a drop of alcohol yesterday. Fresh on a Monday after Paddy's day. Never heard the likes of it. My friends will be disappointed, but that's the way it goes. I didn't want to miss an opportunity for all this kind of action. We do have all in and call here. First hand of the day, 945k in the pot. Ran with the ace nine, Marius with the ace five. Basically a 50 50. Marius with the nut flush draw. Ran still in the lead. Ernest six of diamonds. Where is the seven of spades? And Ran will survive there, doubling up. My name is Action Man Dan, your Irish pundit for the duration of this event. Live from the King's Resort in Rosvedov, presented by Poker Stars. What a marriage. And we'll get to the prize pool now in just a moment. Small blind is 25k, big blind is 50k, with a 50k running big blind ante, that's 25, 50, 50. Almost playability in this one. How much chips in play? 24 players remaining. Three tables of eight. <laughs> Current payout is 5,915 euro. With the next elimination, will take us to 6,775 euro. So significant difference, the guts of a buy-in in the difference, to tell the truth. 1.4 million in this prize bill, smashing the guarantee. Over 1,500 entries and the winner of this event, some stage tonight, maybe even in the early hours of the morning on Tuesday. We've had some epic 15-hour streams this year already, so strap in, buckle up. Could be in for a long ride. Adrian raising to 110 with the ace king. Off about 35 bigs to start the hand. Luca 
is one to watch in this field. We do have Mick. He there with a lot of chips at one of the outer tables. So bear that in mind. We have some other studs in the field. What an exciting action-packed day we have in store for the fans. If you're new to the channel, be sure to give us a like, subscribe and a follow. MJ is in the house. Says Luca is a crusher. He won his first with Sop Circuit Ring in Morocco in January. And he won something here as well not so long ago, if I recall correctly. Or keep seeing his face. It's hard to keep up with all these winners. But the cream rises to the top. And in a structure like this with one hour blinds, it really favours the pro. That's not to say that there's not a lot of recreationals left in the field. We will keep an eye on the players throughout the day. And good afternoon wherever you're tuning in from, be it YouTube or Poker Room Kings on Twitch. Stratos in the house with the funny comment. Well, we have studs in the chat to go along with the ones that are on the table. <laughs> Very good, Stratos. Nice to have you with us. Chat was a little bit dead at times yesterday, but it was to be expected considering it was St. Patrick's Day. I'm sure you are all nursing a hangover, or a lot of ye anyway. Wish you all a happy recovery. I was saying um, when we seen Luca last year at the Kings that he's one to watch out for. And he's just uh, seemed to have a good few results since then. Lupo says Nixon is M. Bal Tatianu. If I want to look for past results, yeah, I'll give it a go. Thanks for letting me know. Love to have extra info on the players, so always feel free to chime in. Stratus says, always fun to be here. We're always good to be here, fun chat and great action on the table. <laughs> yeah, nice to have you with us. Didn't get to get my steak and eggs in this morning because we were on an hour early today, but it's okay. Have enough energy for now. We've got the coffee in hand. Bit of cake, some chocolate biscuits. That'll keep us going for the moment. Marius raised to 110. Now, yesterday, the theme of the day was a lot of early position opens with sub-premium hands. In general, I don't think you want to be opening this one from under the gun plus one <laughs> off 32 bigs into the rest of the table, but... I think not, yeah. We did see a lot of this yesterday, so the pressure is on. And if you can get the blinds and antis through successfully the majority of the time, then why not? But once you get put in your place, like Robert is going to three bet this one with the ace queen off suit, you've got to tighten up your opening range, otherwise, you're just going to be bleeding chips. Bleeding gums, Murphy.
And in a field like this, you would expect to see a lot of the remaining players to be fairly accomplished at the game. But you will have some recreationals saying in the chat there to look up some past results. I'm sure a lot of their hen and mobs are substantial. Like I said, already the cream really does rise to the top. On a day like this, with 24 remaining, you've already locked up the guts of six grand, playing for a quarter of a million, just shy of 243,500 euro for the winner. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Take your time with all your decisions. Realize you're going to be playing a very long day of poker if you want a podium finish. Just remaining composed and thinking clearly and confidently about all your decisions. One hand and it could all be over. There's a man that needs no introduction. A virus. Facing the open from under the gun from Marius with the pocket kings. Just wants to be calling this one. Look at this. This could be curtains for Dennis with the two black jacks. The Jeffries on the button here. Sub 20 bigs to start the hand facing an open from under the gun and a call. A lot of dead money out there if he can pick it up pre. And if he gets called, he's going to be flipping the majority of the time. Would be very unlucky to run into queens, kings or aces. So I feel like this should just be a jam from Dennis even if it was an under the gun open, we've seen these under the gun opens can contain hands as weak as ace eight off and queen jack off. I've seen it with queen nine suited, queen ten off suit off this 30 big blinds or even less sometimes and these baby pairs. So I feel like we should just be getting it in. Yeah, and he does that, just goes for the three bet to 475 with 500k behind. Essentially committing himself, pulling in half his stack. But this will look strong. Doesn't matter how strong it looks. Marius is going to be getting in the kings of kings. And Dennis is going to hate his life here. But he is pot committed. We've seen him get away from top pair after check raising it off. 12 bigs, I think, to start the hand on with ace nine on ace ten four, something around that area. Late last night, and he survived with eight bigs, and he got back to 20, but this is looking bleak. Ace King Tree is the flop set for Marius, and now things looking even worse for Dennis. Turn is the seven of clubs, seals the deal. We lose Dennis in what I believe to be 24th place. We have our field graphic back, ladies and gentlemen. Great to see. We missed you, field graphic. 24 players has become 23 so a page jump has been reached 23rd place 6,775 euro MJ doing some homework for me love when love when the regs do homework in the chat thanks lads MJ says he just looked up to confirm in November 2022, 550 Swiss Open. I would have been commentating on that. I just didn't recognize him, MJ, because of the glasses and the hat. His disguise, shall we say. 
and Luca got oh. second yet. Yeah. You're going to see the same familiar faces. Isn't it incredible? The testament to how great these tournaments are and a testament to how great the same players are to be keep showing face week in, week out, year in, year out at the King's Resort. It's just incredible. Losing only to the other Kings regular. Well, that's another man who needs no introduction, Riyad Farhat. And we are going to have another flip on our hands here. Robert raising to 100k from under the gun with the two black ladies and virus. Just wants to be three back calling this off. But it looks like he is just going to call. Don't hate this either because it's an under the gun open. But the under the gun open has 100 bigs to start the hand. So I would be... More inclined to be 3-bet calling off with the ace-king or off that stack size of about 22 bigs, you could just rip. Ace-9-9 nine, nine on the flop, and now Robert not liking this too much. It's not going to deter him from making a small C-bet, but he will be continuing with caution. Virus just going to call music to his ears. Top pair, top kicker on a pair board. Turn his nine. Full house now. bet tiny and I can get behind betting this small yeah even check why well, really good at knowing where he's at in hands we'll get a call from tens jacks queens and the likes expect to see Robert call this very small bet will take that one down the Queens losing the minimum that could have played out very differently
Oswald. Marius is going to just complete his option in the small blind with King 4 off suit. Robert is going to oblige to see the flop of Queen 7. Nine five three is the flop. Marius is going to check. takes that one down with a small bet on the turn after the board pairs. Ran opening with the ace eight off suit in the cutoff. Virus is just going to call in the big blind. Now, I personally think Virus should have rejammed his pre. It's just too good of a pair. Virus likes to keep pots nice and small, but out of position here, I feel like he just should just rejam, considering his opponent had less than 20 bigs to start the hand. Now he doesn't really know where he's at facing a 90k bet from Ran Caller with the top pair. I just think better things happen for us when we rejam these hands like sixes, sevens, eights, nines. Even the baby pairs. Any pair could just rejam there for sub 20 base if your opponent is opening wide enough. I think nines is just going to be too good to not rejam that one.
Luca raising to 125 from under the gun. King Queen off suit. Marius in the cutoff. Ace five of hearts. Just deciding how he wants to continue here. Don't expect to see him fold. Three bet. Incoming against an aggressive player like Luca seems like the optimal choice. Calling would be totally fine, also. Marius three bets to three sixty. Blinds have just gone up as well. Small blind is 30k, big blind 60k with a 60k running big blind ante. That's 30, 60, 60. And Luca will let that one go. Marius will take it down. Updated the chip counts. Robert in the lead. 78 bigs. Ran. Is your short stack, but did get a double up. Is now playing 16. Then you've got Luca, Adrian, Virus, and Andreas all between 20 and 40 bigs. Marius is in second place, playing almost 50 big blinds now. And Gustavo asking for the field. We have the field today, Gustavo, in the top right hand corner of your screen. You can see that there are 23 players remaining now. From a starting entry field size of 1,526. Looks like we've got action here. Dan under a gun raised to 125. Ace King off suit. Marius with the two black jacks in the hijack. Most likely. Well, I won't say most likely. Could see him three bet this one as well, but he might just want to call. I think getting value for your jacks here, three betting, probably the best play also. with ace queen suited but it shrivels up considerably considering he's facing an open from under the gun and a three bet from the hijack Number 
Luca is not deterred. He's going to four bet to six twenty five. Sexy, spicy stuff here from Luca in the big blind. And guys and girls, if I'm Adrian Dan under the gun here, I'm going to strongly consider Muck and Ace King. But again, taking into consideration who the three bet is coming from and who the four bet is coming from, just decide he's going to play for it all in five bet rips. And now it's Marius who surely has to just get rid of his jacks. Gonna ask for a count, of course, but. Surely can't continue now. One million seven hundred fifty. Jacks do indeed go into the muck. You could get rid of his ace queen, and the ace king will scoop. Ballsy four bet from the big blind there from Luca. Five bet rip coming in from the ace king, coming in hot from under the gun, gets rid of the jacks. The hand also could have played out very differently. We could have seen a big flip on our hands, jacks against ace king. Gustavo asking again how many are still in. You can see in the top right hand corner of the screen we have the field. The graphic fixed today. There are 23 players remaining now from a starting field of 1,526. Average stack is going to be the guts of about 3 million. Two million. The average stack throw today is going to be between 35 and 45 bigs for the most part. I would say 45 is pushing it and it's going to rarely be under 30. So somewhere in between 35 to 42, somewhere around that range. And Gustavo says, yes, I see. Thank you. The sound was off the first time. No problem at all. I just seen you asking me a couple of times yesterday and we didn't have the field graphics. So we have the field graphics sorted for you now. So it's uh, an important piece of information that everyone has been requesting over the last month or so when we had issues with the new system that was installed, but we have finally fixed the problem and it's great to have it back. Oh, I understand now, Gustavo. Yeah, I am. Um, I won't be writing in the chat box at all. I'm concentrating on the poker and any questions that come in. I answer through my voice, but there are some moderators and some regs that will help you in the chat if you have any questions. 
uh, yesterday it was a bit different considering it was St. Patrick's Day so there wasn't as many people hanging around and people are probably hanging in a different respect today probably very hung over around the world but I expect to see a lot of people tuning in for this one it's such a huge event if you're just tuning in folks it's the Eureka main event the final day winner of this one going to get almost a quarter of a million euro from a one thousand euro buy-in well eleven hundred Stavo says nice I like it thanks for your comments hope in two weeks you talk about me on the TV table you're not the first person that said that and their wish or dream has come true Best of luck when you are playing in Rosbilov, especially if it's your first time there, you're going to have a ball. If you want to find out any additional information about the resort itself, head over to the website www.kingsresort.com. If you want to buy some merchandise, we've got some great new collections in the store. The Poker Face collection with a mask sewn to the inside of the hood. We've got this uh, tote bag like a man satchel you put your chips your wallet your keys your phone all in one place when you're walking around pretty cool nice merch indeed Apocalypse is in the house says your your trophy. Well, you see, I don't know if the trophy be fitting in there Apocalypse for that. Uh, maybe if it was a miniature one. Nice to have you with us Apocalypse. This is going to be a fun action packed day. A lot of superstars still in the field. Apocalypse says, I sound a bit sore today. I don't sound sore at all today, Apocalypse. I am 100% fresh. Was commentating for about 10 hours yesterday. Could have done with a little bit more sleep. Was hard to unwind after such a long stream. But other than that, I am ready to go, sir. Maybe I am speaking a bit low. I'm not really sure. I actually... Uh, Mentally feel great today because I'm probably one of the only people in the country who doesn't have a hangover. 
The whole Paddy's Day shenanigans for me this time, buddy. Wasn't going to miss the opportunity to commentate on the Eureka main event presented by Poker Stars at the King's Resort in Rosvedov, was I? 22 players remaining now. And Robert is just going to rejam from the big blind. Takes that one down with the King Jack off suit. Did you enjoy the festivities yourself, Apocalypse? Hope you did, wherever you are, wherever you may be. I don't know which is more surprising about your comment there, Apocalypse. You sang karaoke, fair enough, but to do it sober. No. If you're singing karaoke, you can't be sober. Them's are the rules. Pocket says, doesn't drink, never has. Only the best songs, of course, graced by the Dubliners, Molly Malone and the Fields of Attenray. Um, have you got any recorded videos of this rendition? I need the receipts, mate. I was singing with the wolf tones at uh, Electric Picnic last year, but I have no, I have no pictures or video evidence, you know. <laughs> Did it really happen? Seven. I believe you. But millions wouldn't. We will have a redraw today as well, folks, when 16 players remain.
Rockliffe says he has none. He was on, the only one singing proper Irish songs. Fair play to you, bye. Yo! Andreas betting 110k here from the big blind virus in the small Queen Jack off suit. Flop is 853 all spades. And I feel like virus just has to check fold on this one. Andreas takes it down. If you were watching yesterday, you remember Andreas acts very fast. To his detriment, I would say. But he also did get a couple of nice bluffs through. And it's easy for us to say that when we can see the cards at home. I just feel there was one or two hands where if he was bluffing, he would take his time a bit more. Or whether he has the nuts or the air, he's going to take longer than five seconds. A lot of the time, if people's mind is made up and they shove or bet really fast, they kind of have to have another range. Now, I will say that he maybe was thinking in his head, if I just shove really fast here, but as a bluff, it'll look like I have to have another hand because I didn't think about my decision. So there could be some meta game going on there. We have a wide disparity of nationalities being represented at this table. Germany, Austria, Serbia, Romania, Portugal and the Czech Republic. Um, Ayla says, why raise preflop if you're not c -bet? And I don't understand that. I think it's just not his board with three spades out there and a lot of draws. Uh, Virus is very competent. He will accumulate chips in different ways. And he feels like his opponent is going to continue. He's really intuitive. Really has a good grasp of his opponents. And perhaps he has a live tell. I think it's fine to just check fold on some boards. But I will agree, you could just try... Be one and done there with the Queen Jack after raising. As Apocalypse says, they get the whole pub shouting, alive, alive, out. Sounds like you had a good one, mate. Fair play to you for doing it all sober. Not the easiest thing to do when you're around a lot of drunks, especially on Paddy's Day. Dan is going to raise from under the gum at ace nine suited. Luca is going to call in the big blind with King Deuce of Clubs. Three forty in the pot. This one getting checked down. I think Dan has a clear value bet. Was bet 180. Seven 
one fold. Two fold. Luke is going to complete with King Tree off suit and Dan's going to go for a small raise with Jack Deuce off suit. It'll work this time. Doesn't want to give Luke a free shot at the flop. Nice raises to 130. Following hand here, a king jack of clubs. Ryan's going to call with ace five at diamonds in the big blind he just has eight bigs behind that's the flop he's looking for ace ace seven continues here he's gonna have to have a pretty strong hand a lot of hands that would contain an ace a lot of his 7x won't even defend here unless they're suited he's gonna have a pretty nutted range in my opinion Is the jack of diamonds and that gives him enough flush draw as well. And we could have a small pair like deuces, trees, fours, fives, sixes. Arius going to bed a second time, 85k. I would have expected to see Marius just check this back, but his bet is so small that it might get value a second time from those aforementioned pairs. And just wants to call again here for 85k. No point in doing anything else. Six race, Olin. Seven calls, so long, guys. 
Decides to move all in and gets the call from Marius. <laughs> Might sound crazy, but I actually think Marius could probably pass there for six pigs more. Like, what is Ran shoving that we beat with our King Jack? Whatever is the six of clubs, Ran takes that one down. Nice pop for him. 1.42 mil. Now playing 23 big blinds. We've lost one more player on the outer table, so 21 players remaining now. Mary is still playing. Comfortable 30 bigs. Hummy says, hello everybody. Hello Hummy. Welcome. Good afternoon. Twenty-one players remaining now, all guaranteed a minimum of six thousand seven hundred and seventy-five euro, and there is a difference of one thousand euro between twenty-first and twentieth place. is the shortest stack here four players closely bunched with five between 20 and 30 bigs the table is looking with a lot of chips says back to the old graphics where we can actually see the remaining fields yeah we got that big we're still missing the average stack, but won't worry about that too much. We'll keep it updated. It's always, not always, but usually between 35 and 40 bigs, especially in something like this. It has one hour blinds, really good structure, as you would expect. Um, don't try this at home with the 6 4 off suit from Virus. I don't know where this is coming out of with 20 pigs into nearly a full table. A little scallywag is going for it. It's just six high and it's not even suited. Unless the graphics are incorrect. Virus likes to mix it up from time to time. This is overkill to say the least. Gonna work. I don't see Marius standing here with seven three off too. because there's a 1k pay jump or letting his cards go entitled to do so fires <laughs> take it down the six or off suit what a man what a player of commentating on virus never know what he's going to do next sometimes he plays pretty tight and solid other times he wants action. That's our mantra on this channel. It will provide, provide endless amounts of entertainment. Six 
base, 125. Set off. And it's going to raise from the button here with Queen 5 of Spades and Robert in the big blind with Ace Deuce of Diamonds. Would we'll just re jam this one. We'll use it as a tree bet. 3 bets to 375. Ran will let it go. Could just rip that one, but I think it plays the better actually as a three bet fold off 22, 23 bigs. Start the hand. We'll see a lot of people online and sometimes in lives just ripping them ones. The ace do suited, gonna play pretty well. As a three bet fold though, overall, anything less than 17, 18 blinds just wanna be ripping, in my opinion. Luca with the aces. We raise 125. 125 to go. Win raise with a little bit of cheese on top. Luca takes down the blinds and anti east. We've lost one more player. We've lost Gorgeous George. 20 players remaining now. All remaining players guaranteed a minimum of 7,755 euro. Virus is going to complete his option in the small blind here with Queen 10 off suit. Bet 
60k is the best top player. Both well, players, actually two pair for Andreas. We could have action here. Didn't see any two pair there with the seven. Turn is the four clubs. Fires could lose a chunk of change on Turn and River here. It's nice to check his option. Now, I did mention that Andreas likes to act very fast. How much is he going to bet? Wants to bet something around 250. 200. 250, a little bit too big, actually. 65. Yeah, actually, I stand corrected. I retract what I said there about pot. If we want to try get it in on the river here, we want to bet big. Virus won't be loving this. He blocks some draws that he would want his opponent to have with that 10. But he unblocks diamonds. He's not going to be going anywhere just yet. It's good to see him call. River pairs the board, and that's not good for Virus because wouldn't expect that seven to help his opponent. But it does give him a full house, and the stack to pot ratio is about one to one. And virus checks. I think Andreas is going to go for a large bet, but looks like Virus is going to go for a blocker ish type sizing force slash value bet. 30. A lot of players would just check that river hoping to get another bet from their opponent, but Virus likes to control the size of it. Gets paid by a jack that might just check back. Weaker queen. We can see. Andreas is just going to be all in. Virus just has 10 bigs behind. Just wants to be shoving. There's no reason to min raise. He does basically min raise. Trying to milk virus for all he can. This will look extremely strong. JS can't be doing this unless he has a made hand, in my opinion. Never say never, but it just doesn't seem like you would choose this sizing as a buff. Look at this, just 300k more for Virus to call in a world of hurt. Getting great odds. 1.6 million in the pot, just 300k to call, but we're not getting great odds if you're beat.
Buyers goes to site to pay it off. Hates to see it. Felt like he was getting too good of odds. Well, would have expected to see him fold there, but basically a min raise. Andreas looking like a genius there, getting the maximum amount of money extracted from such a competent player, blind v blind. Run out, obviously, music to his ears, but getting that extra 300k from Virus there, I expected to see him jam. What would I know? <laughs> Concurrent says, is this the one and only Dan? It's Action Man Dan, your Irish pundit. What's up, buddy? Nice to have you with us. Hope you enjoyed your St. Patrick's Day. 20 players still remaining. It was an interesting hand. And now, Virus, one of the best players left in the field, is going to be left with five big blinds or so. Current as we don't really have that holiday here, but my weekend was good. How was your St. Patrick's Day? My St. Patrick's Day was commentating on the Eureka main event for 10 hours. Hope you had a nice weekend. All the same, 10 8 4 is the flop. Robert likes this one. Aaron, a flush draw. Andreas for King Jack of Diamonds. Another blind v blind battle. Robert takes that one down. Robert has a total live earnings of less than 10k, $7,438 to be precise. Concurrent says they're all playing well, I see. Yeah, there's a lot of good players left in this field. It's going to be a long day, concurrent. Seatbelts and airbags for this one. They're very deep. Average stack is between 35 and 40 bigs. He's all ready for it on his second stream while he's doing some work on his first one. Nice, buddy. Hook in the small here with Jack Five off suit. He's going to complete his option. Down with Jack Eight off suit, and the big is going to check.
King 9 3 is the flop. Two hearts. Adding one big. Gets the job done. Robert raised to 125, takes it down. No flop, no drop. I don't really like his raise size from the small blind, even if he has such a strong hand, like I was saying yesterday, and all we say on this channel, you want to be making it bigger from the small blind into the big. Otherwise, they're just getting way too good of odds to see a flop in position. And it can be hard for you to navigate your way through flop, turn, and river when you're in the small blind against the big. Queens on the button. shoves from the big blind and bing bang boom just like that the ladies for Dan on the button all in against Marius 3.3 million in this pot up for grabs this is what I'm saying about these baby pairs play better as a regen but he's ran straight into it needing big help and that's not the help he's looking for Nine, six, seven, two hearts. Turn is the seven of diamonds. Just a tree now on the river can save Marius, and it is the dose of hearts. Marius Nixon has been eliminated. Unlucky. And what a big moment that is for the ladies. They are now paying 4.4 million after that hand. Adrian Dan getting a lot richer. Got a newfound gold in his stack and 19 players remaining now. He shoved the guts of 25 bigs over a button open with a baby pair. 
Sometimes you run into it. The majority of the time, you're just going to take down the pot. Master is all in 26 pigs. Yeah, it was, seems like a lot, especially in a tournament like this. Massive ICM pressure to consider as well. I think we just want to be calling many big blinds, many bigs. You can just rejam. Put that out. That extra chunk of change, I think, was going to lean you towards calling when you were covered. Yeah, good point there. Sahar. Dan raises to 135 in the cutoff. Huge, huge, huge pay jumps to take into consideration throughout the day. We will be bearing that in mind. a good mix of teams in this field of players who won't have played for this kind of money before and some pros maybe a few cons <laughs> All blind is now 40k. Big blind is now 80k with an 80k running big blind anti. That's 40, 80, 80. Ramaduce is in the cutoff, 18 big. I'm not sure what you want to do here. Maybe just rip. Yeah, rip seems best with the baby pair. Robert's going to ask for a count here, but this is a lot of bigs. Yes, he can afford it. He's paying 5.4 million, almost. Ace nine off suit. Facing an 18 big wide open. I think we just let hands like this go. Wire's just going to stack off here with the Jack 8 suited. Ace 9-5 is the flop, all spades. Not what Virus is hoping to see. Ran now a 4 to 1 favourite and seals the deal on the turn. Well, it can become a chop. Seven outs can save Virus. That's not one of them. We will lose Virus in 19th place. 18 players remaining now. It was the bigger blind. Seat open one. The pay jump is looming of about a thousand euro. The difference between 18th and 17th place. We are two eliminations away from the redraw. 18 remaining. Looks like we're going to have three tables of six. We will get a new player coming into seat four. Angelo Paletta paying a stack of 1.8 million. Robert with 67 bigs is your ship leader. Adrian down with 56 bigs. Andreas with 28. Luca with 18. 
Land with 18 in a fun opening frame. Base King Jack is the flop. Roberts gets 100k. Takes it down. Robert raises from the cutoff at A6 off two. Trace is going to call with King Nine of Clubs in the small blind. Luca getting a great price to see a flop with just 10 deuce of clubs. Doesn't want to see clubs out there. We are going to get three way action to the flop. A four three is the flop. Check check over to Roberts. I picked this one up with a bet. Wants to bet something around two sixty. Be a bit less, 200, 180, goes for 175. Hello. Andreas Hello. wants to see a turn card here. This is ambitious for just King High. He's got the back doors working for him.
Turn is a tree of spades, pairing the board. Andreas will check. Robert's going to bet a second time here at 350. Gonna be the end of that. Don't think Andreas can continue now. It was a bit ambitious to continue on the flop, but he hasn't folded yet. Let it go. Robert in the cutoff with ace jack off suit. And a min raise.
Angelo's going to complete the ball blind. Dean Jack off too. Seven is the flop. And so two overs and a straight draw. Then the second pair, bottom pair, and a bet for protection. Angelo could have decided to lead out. I presume, at the very least, he'll want to see a turn card. I was trying to think, would he go for a check raise? Players are going to be a bit cagey as we get closer and closer to the final table. You don't really want to be bloating pot, especially out of position. Turn is the deuce of diamonds. Check, check, river is the king of diamonds. Damn with the best of it. Angelo, just for queen height. Must know he can't win by checking. Or at least, not often anyway. He's going to load up. This will get a seven to fold, probably an eight to fold, and the diamonds came in as well. Any king beats him, any nine beats him. Likely that Angelo was betting an eight. It's for a smallish sizing. And will release. I feel like he could have put his cape on there, but I guess there's just too many hands that beats him. He's got the straight blocker used to his advantage and takes that one down. Bird is in the house, says howdy. What's up, Bird? And looks like you just see Dan rejam here from a hijack open. Both players hijack and the big blind playing around 20 breaks to start the hand. A bit less for the big blind. So I think this is just going to play best as an all in. Especially when we are the covering stack. Five 
if he wants to just call and wisely well, does so on this occasion considering Ran is a monster in the big it's going to be a really nice spot for him to shove a lot of money out there for grabs already And three bet from the big blind with jacks. And for Dan, he's got a huge hand here. And he will be playing pretty well with Ace-10 suited against the shoving range from the big blind. And that's why you're going to see him posture with this one. But if he was planning on calling off here, then he should just re-jam himself and take that move away from his opponent. So interesting to see what Dan does here. It's right on the line of nearly being too strong to fold. East Jack Plus, I think we definitely want to be calling here. It's just for a significant portion of our stack, but we can't afford it. It is just a million more. That makes a tight hold there, but it is a good one on this occasion, anyway. Osmo in the house says, Afternoon all, call, baby, call. Osmo. Robert gets a walk with his ace queen.
Ryan, raised on the button here, attack 10 off suit. And Andreas is going to call in the big with 8 7 off suit. Flop is ace king 9 off. Oh. Clubs. Spades on the turn and now ran not straight. Ran just wants to bet an amount that would set up a river jam or at least a large sizing. in the pot doesn't have to bet too big yes and have eastern piece of this board but range advantage very much so goes to rant that's something like 340 yeah it goes for 320 Andreas will get away from it and Rand will take it down. Still two eliminations away from the redraw, 18 players remaining. Ran raising from the cutoff, ace five suited.
race. Under 75. Six four, eight four. This is a prime example of what I was talking about, about players raising too light, merely position. First to act, raising with the ace, deuce off suit. Don't trade out at home. Even if you've got 50 gigs, a combo, not one you want to be opening. Having said that now, they are shorter handed, they're only playing six handed, so it isn't really under the gun. It's just still going to be too wide for my liking. Down to Angelo in the big blind. Probably got it through, but no. I think Angelo wants to see a flop here for 95k more. He does flick it in. Eight eight deuce is the flop. Yeah, just don't want to be opening too many of those combos, especially if they're not suited. Just going to get you in trouble. Ran. Raising under the gun here. King 10 off suit. Covered in the hijack. Two black jacks. Freddy Krueger in the house says GG. We've had one more elimination occur, so 17 players remaining now. That means we are just one elimination away from that redraw. Three bets to four fifty. Six four eight one. And we'll get away from it. Another pop for Robert. With Seventeen players remaining. That means the pay jump was reached, folks. Current payout is now 8,890 euro. Oh, guys. Oh, oh. This update updated the ship council playing six handed here. 
Robert 84 bigs. Adrian with 53, Ram at 27, Angelo 19, Andreas 14, and Luka Bohovic is the shortest stack with 12 pigs. Luca picking up a monster in the cutoff. Kings. For the men in the cutoff with 10 bigs behind. Nice time to pick up a monster. Ryan lets his hand go. Lucas sad he couldn't get more pips extracted from his kings. Happy, he ha have to be happy to be content with the blinds and antis. For now. Grand completes in the small here with ace four off Stute Robert nine five off Stute in the big blind. We just bump this one up and try to take it down pre we punishing these limpers. I wouldn't be shocked to see Ran shove over the top, but I can see I spy with my little line in the top corner of the screen. There are 16 players remaining now. So that means this is going to be the last hand before the break. We are going to go on a 15-minute break and come back with two tables of eight. In a fun opening frame. Lots of action. If you think Robert is just going to be doing this, Willy nilly with all sorts of wide hands in his range, then I think you can just shove over the top here. You might just want to see 
a flop for that price. Instead, he's gone for a third option. Very interesting. Wasn't expecting to see this. Three bets to 550. And I like this. He's got 18 bigs behind. This will look very strong to Robert. Some to the test. And we'll take it down. Strong play from Rand there with the ace four. And we are headed to a break, folks. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back for lots more action for the Eureka main event final day. I will see you all in a few moments. So saying is his real name fire at will? It is indeed. Change it. Oh wow, what a six it up. I mean, ah. Yusuf could very well three bet jam all in. We've seen him do this. Yeah. Loves to get his money in first. This is 25 bigs. Nice going for the three bet bluff. Oh sorry. Three bet bluff. The three bet fold. Mm. It's interesting this, like, feels like a bit of a disaster to 3-bet fold if our opponent's going to be jamming in 9s, 10s, jacks. I mean, if that's the case, if we're playing on 3-bet folding, then it just makes more sense to flat and see flops. I'm assuming this is going to be a 3-bet fold, although Yusuf yesterday in certain spots did kind of get a bit sticky. Interesting. Flat call from Fire at Will with the Ace King suited. Card holder on top of his cards, and both players miss. Fire at Will has him covered. Yusef is making a continuation bet here. Looks like 115. It looks like Fire at Will is going to give it up. What looked like a disaster for Yusef. He's found a way to win this. And Yusef just won't believe. <laughs> I'm getting the feeling, Henry, that Emil is just not comfortable with how this table's unfolding. He likes to take charge, Emil. Does. Become the table captain and kind of set the tone, but it's just not happening for him. Hello, Ace King. Back to visit Mr. Bond once again of the spade variety on this occasion, 75. Oh boy. Maybe, just maybe, that previous dialogue exchange between Robert and Mr. Bond it's going to get Emil to make a mistake pre-flop. It doesn't. does just defend. Wow. 
Wow. There's got to be action, Henry. Top pair versus the good shot. Backdoor spades, two over cards. Mr. Bond has a lot going on here. We know what the brutal calls. Be. Okay, why are you? Jack is coming. Oh, stop it! It's unbelievable. This could be the end of Emil BC, Henry. What a card. Wow. Two outs once for Emil. We can see the remaining Jack's dead. Mr. Bond. How can you read this guy? Turning the stone cold nuts. Wow. Check race, snap, snap call. I oh, mean, it's brutal. It really is. Now, Emil Bise with the redraw to the full house. If he doesn't hit Henry, it's Sayonara, former champion, on the ropes. Queen or Jack, Mr. Bond stands up. Brutal stuff here for the champ. Sick turn card, seven on the river. Elimination for the former champion. Massive pot. Know the history. You, know, you, you just don't know what's been going on at the tables. Ross smells blood here. Mr. Bond on a downswing. Check back the flop with his good shot and now Ross Gaff is going to try and steal this. No idea. I'm not sure about this bet, not sure about this defend. I think this is very player dependent. And well That's just know. remarkable really. We now river showdown. Oh sicko. <laughs> Mr. Bond. The absolute what Sicker. has happened this man? It's a completely different player to yesterday. Gaff hasn't snap folded, by the way. Alright, let's all right, let's see, let's see go. He looked extremely suspicious though. So he's got ace queen with like the ace of spades. You just gotta love this guy, man. The, this guy. Mr. Bond. Make it 65k with the 5 4 suited, but look at Yusef, ace jack suited. He's going for the 25k big value chips, which tells me he's going to 3 bet. Not what Georgius wants to hear with 5 high. Yusef. Does put in the three bet. And yeah, he's got 40%, so an, an amazing price. He needed 25. Oh boy. Well, oh. I mean, <laughs> he might be in it's trouble. just lights out. I, how often are you drawing dead on the flop and no limit hold them? Oh, go on, you said knuckle up, bro. Oh, like bet small, like B33. Tiny, like three blinds. Oh, he's going smaller. Go on, yeah, B20 is fine. Be 
Now, if I'm Georgius and I do make the call pre-flop, and I flop it up and down straight, I'm certainly continuing. This is uh, sick sizing here. Does just call. Had some very excited hands in the last orbit or so. We all know what the action turn card would be. Georgius misses 705,000. Now, Yusef, please go super small, Yusef. There is no, you have an absolute lock on this hand. Keep your customer interested. 200k, please don't go all in. 200k. Perhaps Georgius considers the check raise. Do you know it would be even better, Henry? Check back. That would just be quality. Nothing to fear. Stone cold nuts. Love it. 150k. I think when we're blocking the flushes that could call and it's more likely that George's has like a pair with a spade or like a hand like King Queen. Yeah, nice lay down. Well, I say nice lay down, you know, five high. But yeah. Off to the first break of the day, and what an exciting end there. Gius, with the enough flush draw, his overcard could be good. He's going to have a big decision here, Henry. Ah, easy fold. Easy fold. Stinker. Obviously, gets out of the way and Naros folds. Jan Jorgensen has none of this. Georgius, does he want to take a spin? That's the question. Uh, he's asking for a count, but I, I don't think he uh, ever yeah. calls here. Just not getting the right price. I think maybe, I, I think you're, you're right. Like, if he, if he knows the uh, yeah, ace is good. Then maybe, but like running into like ace ten, ace ten of diamonds is uh, a disaster. He's got forty eight percent equity there. Needs to call one mil to win one point five, meaning he'd need what thirty three percent equity. He's got it. Georgius. I mean, he's just not a punter, right? No, you he's don't. You don't come this far to just punt it off of a flush draw. You're pretty frustrated that you don't get to see a turk card, but you know, you're like, why did he bet 300k or something like that? But Mr. Bond letting rip 460k in the pot, and he just. Jams the lot in. Georgius. He makes the call, wow. Henry. Wow. That's quite remarkable. I wow. actually was leaning towards what you were saying. You convinced me, Henry. But Georgius. Both players with the same stack size. Woo. Nine. Up and down straight draw. To go along with the flush draw. A turn card. Six is good. Jack is good. Ace is good. King of Spades is no good. Two pair for Mr. Bond. One million shove on the flop. Let's go. Now Mr. we have a Bond. player with a stack. 2.5 million. Does wait way for Martinson, who's not going to get super out of line with this Queen 4 offsuit on the button. He's going to allow Adamski to create some action from the small blind. 
He is covered by the big blind. <laughs> the big blind before the lamps even ask is like, hey, get the big chips up front, I'll see. That does that play in your mind, Randy, that Well Nojbao's gonna have a hand. Oh he does have a hand. Jammed. And he's gonna find out it's twenty bigs. And six is Randy. Surely too much of a hand to fold. I think this is too much. There we go. Flicks it in, and Adamski's going to be delighted to see he's flipping. So many of the snap calls were dominating him. A huge flip out of nowhere. 2.7 million chips. Adamski just ripping 20 bigs. Getting action. Yeah, this escalated quickly once he asked how many big chips you got even though actually wasn't <laughs> to him yet but here <laughs> yeah. we go to a flop safe for the sixes nine nine four damn can need to find some paint or oh, running straight turn of no use one card from elimination Needs that queen or jack for Damski to stay in here. And that's the end. It is GG's for Damski. Alrighty, folks, we're back. Hope you enjoyed your break. Lots more action to come. Eureka main event, final day, live from the King's Resort in Rosvedov. We've got some familiar faces and some new people at this table. Kuli Sadu, formidable UK reg, is in the hunt. 21 bigs. Cheng is back in action with 19 bigs. And Andreas, who we had before the break is still here with 14 bigs and we've got Stefan with 23, Aram with 31, Adrian still here with 52, MC 60 bigs and Robert is still here as well, our chip leader at this feature with 80 big blinds. We have Germany, Austria, Czech Republic, United Kingdom, Romania and Italy all the nations being represented at this feature with two tables remaining now. 
Pay jump is looming from 16th to 15th place from 8,890 euro to 10,175 euro. The Apocalypse says he got heads up in a £330 game last week. A really nice score of 5.4k. Delighted to hear that, mate. Fair play to you. Well done. MC opening things up here from under the gun. Plus one with Ace Jack of Clubs. Stefan is going to complete in the big. King Queen off suit. Six five four two diamonds is the flop. Is the Jack of Diamonds flop going check check this flop smacking the perceived big blinds defending range more so than the opening range MC does have top pair top kicker now Stefan does have the Queen of Diamonds in his hand. Oh, this King High perhaps wants to see a river for that price. Does flick it in. This pot now 890k as we hit the river. River is the Deuce of Spades. That's the card that I would be inclined to rep, and I would be betting at least half pot here, about 450. Goes for a bet of 450. Nasty enough spot here for MC. Now he does have a lot of chips. Getting a decent price to call here with his top pair, top kicker. It does lose to a lot of hands. Two pairs straights, flushes. Although I don't think a flush would check a second time. Maybe, maybe they would in Stefan's shoes from the big. Any tree makes a straight now. But I think when we've got top pair, top kicker, we are getting about three to one on our money. I think we're too high up in our range and just have to call. Does flick it in, gets the good news, and Stefan going to be playing under a million. Nice pick up there for MC, playing 5.7 million, which is good for 72 big blinds. Blinds are still 40, 80, 80 at the moment.
Stefan making a good bet there on the river. Gonna get your pawn to fold a lot of hands just <coughs> for my money. The ace jack just too high up in the range. Gonna have to call. And if it gets the bad news, it gets the bad news. Stefan going for the rejam here with the ace jack off suit. Dan the opener with King Jack wants an exact count. Closer than you'd think, but I feel like we can just raise fold these off suit combos. Stefan going to have a pretty tight condensed range with 16 players remaining. It is pretty close. Any less there? Nine bigs. And ten bigs I'm calling. That eleven and a half. Just going to price them out. And we'll take that one down. Bring back over a million chips once more.
Kazan Fordu. Jeng is going to raise from under the gun plus one with Jack Nine suited. Jack Nine of Hearts to be exact, and Robert with King Queen of Hearts on the button. Go for a call. Five four. Six four. That's good. Right. Up there for Robert in position. Second pair for Chang out of position. Says, not even slightly surprising to see Cully going deep here. Absolute crusher. Yeah, he's uh, what a G. An awesome gangster at the table. Navigating his way through fields. Fearless. On the turn here. Saying he's going to bet. That's 325. Buckler says he's fresh off winning the 5k at EPT Paris as well. Had no idea about that. Do you know how much that was for? Incredible stuff. Chang is doing this to get some more value from draws and to stop his opponent from betting a larger amount. One hundred and thirty-two k says the boys. I have a nickname for him. I call him DJ Khaled. I like making that man laugh. Team Bet 325 and Rob just deciding whether to call or shove. I'd assume he is just going to call, let Cheng do the work for him. There is the six of diamonds. Flush comes in, straight misses. Cheng now just wants to be getting the showdown. That's the crack. What a good river. I think his plan of entry 25 there on the turn is to try to get a cheap river. That's not the river he was looking for. 1.4 million in the plot and he just has 9.45 behind. Perfect, 
Robert's just going to check back. I actually feel like Robert misses out on value. I don't think Chen is going to run the risk of missing out on shoving a flush. So, not that you can rule out Cheng having a flush completely, but it is way more unlikely once he checks to his opponent. So therefore, with top pair, really good kicker. I feel like we just want to shove. says guessing Cully will be heading straight to the World Series of Poker Circuit event in Nottingham probably playing that himself best to look if you're playing that apocalypse Janeth is in the house says hello everybody hello Janeth is just going to complete in a small blind with Jack 10 suited. Dan's going to bump it up here with Ace King of Diamonds and do just decide now whether he wants to jam over the top here or call. I think we just call for 150 more. Seven five is the flop. One club. Good shot, straight draw here for Sadu. Not the board. And was looking for with Ace King. Checks it back. Turns the six of hearts. Now I think if we're Sadu, we start betting. to check again I want to get raised off his hand but to do and rep a lot on that board Here comes the seven of diamonds and he has to know it's be very hard to win a showdown with just that guy seven of diamonds does pair the board We will lose this one. He's King going to take it down.
Yeah, I feel like Cully missing out on an opportunity to take that one down. Fold around to the button, Sadu, Queen 10 of Clubs, 17 big blinds, and the decision. Sometimes we might just shove this one. It's going to have a lot of equity. Don't really want to be raised calling it and raised folding. Not ideal. Just goes for the rip. And for Dan, he's got a hand that he might want to call here. Ace nine. He's gonna call. It's not too far from a coin flip here. Point nine million in this pot to do at risk. Nine six six is the flop. To do needing help, needing help quick. Just four out in the deck. One is another spade, making it even worse for to do now. Just pick up a straight draw. She doesn't. It improved the amount of outs. Seven of diamonds hits the river, giving Sidhu the straight. Sorry, I thought that turn card made it worse for Sidhu, considering his opponent had the ace of spades. We've seen him go runner, runner, eight, eight to survive against Jacks last night and triple up to nearly 50 bigs. Hard to get rid of this man. He does double up. He needed an offsuit seven there for the straight. Jack would have done it as well, I believe. Actually increased from four to eight outs on that turn. Somehow. Incredible stuff. Who gets there? What an entertaining player. Lines have gone up. 50k is now the small blind. 100k is the big blind with 100k running big blind anti. That's 50, 100, 100. Ladies in the cutoff. Two black queens. The first to do. 
28 pigs and the decision. Six trades, 200. Makes it 200 to go. Dan will be quite tilted after that hand. Very, very unlucky river there for him. Dan is going to three bet enough to put a do all in. Wow, just going for it here. I think this is a bit of a blow up from Dan. It's just too many eggs to rip. So tilted after the previous hand, decides to shove from the button, and this could be a gift for Sadu. Look at the size of this pot, six million. Dan needing a king of kings, Sadu needing a hold. He's a three to one favorite. Jack Deuce Deuce is the flop. And Jeffrey now would do it also. Four out for Adrian Dan as we hit the turn. Turn is the ten of hearts. River is the eight, and we're going to do a chip count here. Adding insult, insult to injury almost. Dan is going to be left with half a big blind. Sadu suddenly paying six million for 60 big blinds. Wow, what a difference two hands can make. A couple of comments in there. MC says, what a punt with King Jack. 1% um, of the field left and you crammer jammer it in. Pocket quads seems the opposite. People are definitely overfolding there. You are going to take down the plot the majority of the time. But I just feel like with almost 30 bigs there, you want to use that in your 3 bet folding range with the blockers. Like, it's easy to say, oh, people are going to be overfolding, but you're 16 left in one of the biggest tournaments of your life. If you had 20 big blinds or less, I understand, but with just close to 30, I think the average, yeah, it was about 26, 27, was the effective stack, I think, for Cully, so just make it like five and a half bigs, six bigs if you have to, pressure back on. Wide opening range from Cully in the cutoff. You've got to remember, tilt factor was in play there, considering the previous hand. He had the spades covered, he had top pair, he had the ace. And it came an offsuit seven to give Cully the straight. He didn't really have time to recompose himself and adjust to his surroundings before shoving on the button. The problem with shoving with a hand like King Jack off there, if you are called, you are going to be in big trouble. And that's exactly what happened. Yes, of course, you're going to take down the blinds and antis the majority of the time, but you can do that with a tree bet. Pressure is on, folks. You could cut the tension with a knife, and it's really hard to 
make the right decision, hand in, hand out. That's why giving someone like Cully this much chips is so dangerous because he's fresh off a 132k score in Paris. He's got loads of other scores to his name and he's fearless, so he's going to put those chips to work. Players are going to be tired, they've been playing for many days on end, but championship rounds, cream rises to the top, and that's where you're going to see the same faces week in, week out, month in, month out, year in, year out. Being shown from the button here with seven bigs into Andreas with 10 9 off out in the big blind. Says, shows you what a good night sleep can do versus a night out partying. I'll say it's Stratos, yeah. It is tough to stay away from the bar no matter what time you bag and tag. But if you're going to give yourself a chance to compete at a podium finish and play for 243,500 euro. You want a good night's sleep under your belt. <coughs> Having a rest in mind helps you from tilting in those situations. Yeah, you need to breathe. Easier said than done, of course. Stefan in the big blind facing under the gun open. Stefan not going to be defending with the ace nine. Understandable. This is 10 bigs behind. I think I would still be flicking it in. We, we've seen how wide players are getting away with raising from early position and under the gun. Players don't really have that information when they're sitting there playing for this kind of money. Cully launches himself up to second place on our leaderboard. At this feature table, just 13 bigs behind Robert, and then MC57, Aram 24, Stefan 10, Cheng 9, Andreas 6, and Dan playing less than one big blind. So we've got four relatively short stacks here, and big blinds or less. Pressure cooker at this Eureka main event. Two tables remaining, still 16 players all in the hunt. Thank you. 
Andreas Stubbs from the cutoff MC calls in the big blind. It's eight against pocket sixes. Sit and you cannot use pump here. I'm sorry, sir. Cannot use pump here. 9-3 is the flop. Andreas set to double up here to 1.5 mil. We have lost the player at the outer table. Ernest King of Diamonds. River is the Ten of Hearts. One point five million. Six hundred ninety. And with 15 players remaining, our payout is now five figures. 10,175 euro. Six eliminations away from the final table. Andreas will be happy with that double up. Now playing 15 bigs. Robert Min raising on the button with a sign off suit. Playing over 7 million, start the hand, and MC with King Queen. He's got Cully to worry about in the big blind also. Goes for a 3 bet. I'm going to say if he's going to 3 bet, doesn't want to make it too small, around 700k seems good to me. 3.5x, you could argue he could go even a bit bigger against the chip leader here but I like this sizing it's going to be a half a million more if Robert wants to continue Robert will eventually let it go. Perhaps he was thinking about clicking it back there, and it wouldn't have been the worst spot to do it with the ace blocker. He just doesn't really need to risk those chips when he's playing such a large stack. He loses his leverage then if he gets it wrong, etc. Fine to just let it go. Please pick up for the king queen. And all in by default in the big blind for 45k. Oh. 
called. Ends for Robert in the cutoff. We've got action here because MC has two black ladies on the button. Make it like 350 for MC. Yeah, it goes for three and a half X. Back to Robert. Robert will call. Nine three three is the flop, and that's not a good flop for Robert. MC with the overpair. Robert with the overpair. His inferior overpair. He could lose some chips here. I'm seeing something around 250, 300 here. Even a bit smaller. Water pot. Those go for quarter pot, 200k. And looking at what might have been, Robert will call. Deuce of spades on the turn, puts another flush draw out there. Some additional straight draws. Robert checks again. Now MC can size up a little bit. Make it like 600, 650. He's going for a little bit bigger. MC betting 800k here. Like the sizing. Gonna get called by a lot of draws. A nine. But remember, Robert limped pre from the cutoff. Robert can't be going anywhere just yet. We'll have to call to see a river. Wow, gets away from it. Wasn't expecting to see him fold tens there. Essentially losing the minimum in this hand. Him calling pre, calls the flop, folds the turn. Dan needing an ace on this river, or he is done. It's the eight of spades. And has been eliminated. MC will scoop those chips now, playing 60 big blinds. Adrian Dan from Romania has been showered. And that means 14 players will remain now. Good score for Dan, but two hands you will most likely be regretting already. Does take home 10,175 euro for his effort. And that means 14 players remaining now. Two tables of seven. And a pay jump is looming from 14th to 13th place, from 10,175 euro to 12,200 euro.
And as far as the action man, Dan, how are you today? I'm pretty good. I was done with a bit more sleep. Found it very hard to unwind after that exhilarating stream yesterday. But as I said earlier, and as to a lot of other viewers, I'm feeling good mentally because I'm probably one of the only men without a hangover in Ireland today. Trace will take down the blinds and antis. I hope you're well yourself, Anis, on this Monday afternoon. Nice to have you with us. And it says good fold right away from the 10 10. Yeah, he must have had a live read to be able to make a fold like that. The draws are going to keep barreling. If anything, he could get ran over and that information is made to the rest of the table. But we can see in game he made a fantastic fold. Double flush draw board out there. I feel like he has to see a, a river for that price. Could be inexperienced, could be the pressure mounting. But oh, hey, his opponent did have queens and he essentially lost the minimum. MC raises the 200k in the hijack with 10 8 off suit, and Ali in the big, he's 4 off suit. Another beauty school dropout on the outer table. 13 players remaining now. I'm seeing the hijack, king, queen off suit, min raising. Cheng not loving this playing just seven bigs. H4 ass is the first prize only 1100 euro. No, I feel like you need to have another look above you there. 243,500 euro for the winner. And the minimum payout at the moment is over 10 grand. Actually, I stand corrected. 12,200 pay jump has been reached. Andreas is going to call in the big with Queen Eight of Clubs. 944 is the flop. 
You're going to see a lot of raise and take it as we get closer and closer to the FD. The bigger stack's going to be able to pile the pressure on the shorter ones. Experience is going to be a big factor here. Robert Min raising from under the gun with aces and Sadu in the hijack with the ladies. We've got action. Holly is going to three bet to five fifty. Guys, this could be one of the biggest pots of the tournament. Let's see what happens here. Um, Jang facing an open and a tree bet might be able to get away from his pocket nines here. See if he shoves here and Robert clicks it or shoves himself, Sadu is going to be forced into the situation where he's going to call off with his queens because it's going to look like Robert is just trying to isolate. I'm not saying this to do, and Robert won't be getting it in anyway. There's a lot of ICM at play here. It's not just standard stuff. Is this is the thing. This is going to look weaker now when Robert clicks it or shoves it. If you're sitting in Sadu's shoes, it looks like Robert's trying to protect against a Seth Big Blind stack. Now, I know Cully did 3 back to 550. It's just going to be a lot harder for him to get away from these ladies. I'm not sure what Cheng is supposed to do in, to do in this situation. I think we just fold. With seven bigs, you can't really blame him stacking off. But at the same time, it's an under the gun open. If the under the gun open isn't a full table, Lot to consider here. What does Robert do? Does he click it to 1 1.4? 1.5, 6, 1.7? Or does he... He wants to know how much to do has. He wants to know how much Cheng is shoving for. The shove would look weaker, but shoving 63 bigs it's going to be too much here with aces, so you want to make it about 1.7, 1.8, maybe even a little less. I guess you can only make it 1.4 minimum. Yeah, what about 1.7, 1.8? One point eight looks like is the bet. And I don't know if Cully can resist shoving all in over the top here. So much money out there up for grabs. Now Robert is going to have 
Pretty tight range to five bet to 1.8 million. If there was a time to get rid of your queens, it might be now, but Sadu is going for the opposite option, and I don't blame him. Is going to get it all in. Look at the size of this pot. 12.545 million. Sadu, just 11% equity. Robert set to have a monstrous chip beat. Unless he gets unlucky. Fully needing a lady and needs a lady quick. There's the flop. Jack 10, 3. All clubs. Player with a club. Turn us to six of diamonds. Dang set to be eliminated. Cully set to be eliminated. Here's the river. It is the ace of clubs. Double elimination. Chang says goodbye. Sad to see Cully Sadu go. Unlucky, yeah. mate. Good game. Well done in Paris. Yeah. We'll see him at the Irish Open, hopefully. At his first rodeo, he will regroup. But for Robert, what an opportunity it is for this man now. Playing over 120 big blinds. Big smile on his face. That means 11 players are going to remain. Nobody at See with the is under the gun. Robert gonna call in the big blind king ten against ace ten. Jack ten four is the flop.
Jacob. Well, we're going to bet 200k here. Should I get value on the river? Buckerish type sizing forward slash value bet. And it looks like MC is going to raise this up. This is interesting from MC. Designed to get a hand like Ace 10 to fold. Maybe even a jack. But Robert is a non believer. Calls him off. And wins another pot and is now playing close to 15 million. And it says, why bluff with second pair? I don't understand this. Well, he had a straight blocker. So he's trying to get his opponent to fold a hand like ace-10 or maybe even a jack. It is ambitious, but I do understand it. I think we just call, given the situation. So I'm on board for what you're thinking there as well, Anis. I don't think there's enough of a reason to try to get our opponent to fold a hand like a weak jack or a better 10, considering we have king-10 ourselves. If we had a different holding with the king blocker, I think that would make a lot more sense. Stefan is all in from the button and MC with the decision here in the big blind. Seven and a half bigs total. And it says straight blocker is only a bluff and you have nothing with this. It's an easy call. It's not the easiest to calls there with uh, the ace-10, by the way, once the hand raises. But I do agree with you. You're not going to get much better hands to fold. So it's not the most ideal spot for us to buff. Nice observation, Anis. Yeah, once he checks back the flop, he eliminates some of those stronger hands out of his range, in my opinion. So another good observation there from Anis. Robert Min raising queen four off suit. Well, Robson says, is that Jürgen Klopp at, at the end there? There's always a few lookalikes. We had DJ Khaled lookalike there. Just get eliminated. Holy said no. He 
he can check back some king queen on the flop there to see two different opinions coming in but in general we want to be betting the stronger part of our range considering we had an under the gun open Robert with 145 big, MC 49, Ali with 24, Andreas 13, and Stefan with 10. And Robert can afford to be very, very active now. Unbelievable chip stack. Robert Benton, 250 here with top pair, King Kicker, Victor Flush Shot, Andreas. Not a good turn card turn, but with the two diamonds out there, just decides to let it go. Uh, 
And I believe they were experiencing a power outage for a moment at the King's Resort. So if the screen goes black for 15 to 20 seconds, we will be back. There you go. I was just in the nick of time to warn you there. Yeah, they had a small power outage. Came back within 30 seconds. Andreas is all in from the cutoff with Ace King suited. Got action. Stefan is all in with Ace King. Andreas is all in with Tens. This is a big moment for both players involved. Eleven players remaining. Big flip. Two point two million in the pot. A lot of equity on the line. Ace five deuce is the flop. Andreas needing one of the remaining tens in the deck. Turn is the four of hearts, and that's not a good card. You can chop with a tree. River is the four of clubs, and Andreas is going to be left with 275k, less than three bigs. Stefan now playing 22 big blinds. MC, Ace King of Diamonds, min raising on the button. 
we've got action Ali in the small blind ace queen suited 21 bigs expect to see this going in especially with the big blind almost all in by default does shove does shove does call here we go we could see a double elimination here Four and a half million in this pot. Andreas looking angry. Just the jack six of diamonds. Does have two live cards. Two live cards, not the worst against the ace queen and the ace king blocking each other. Here we go, jack in the window. Jack, seven, four. Andreas sitting back down. <laughs> what a character. Turn is the queen. Wow. Queen of diamonds. What a turn card there for Ali. Where is the deuce of clubs? Sickness for MC loses a chunk of chips. Ali will double up to four and a half million, and Andreas has been eliminated. And that means we have 10 players remaining now. That means the current payout is 14,665 euro, and we are on the FT bubble. Apocalypse is a jack or a six on that river, and we wouldn't have lost anyone. Yeah. We do lose Andreas. Nice payout for him. Unlucky, sir. Good game. for another player we're going to get ran caller coming into seat six playing a stack of 3.7 million we're going to have two tables of five it looks like just one elimination to go the final table And there is a huge pay jump between 10th and 9th place. Goes all the way from 14,665 euro to 19,400 euro. As Apocalypse asks, did I miss Cully getting eliminated? Yes, you missed 120 big blind pot. Found it all in. Queens for Cully and aces for the leader. At this feature table, and I would imagine he is chip leader of the tournament. Robert, of course. You see, we are going to go on a break here as we get the tables rebalanced and stuff. I will see you all in 15 minutes. <laughs> Things really heating up here at the Eureka main event final day. We'll be right back.
holds onto the gun plus one. He's folding oh, onto the wow. gun. Great situation for Jan, particularly with his image. Grace. Here we go. He has become super oh. active. George, this is out of there. Now he opens with the goods. Mr. Bond with 7 5. Took a little bit of I a knew hit. it. Oh, I knew he was going to. Yeah, he's just. I knew he was going to flick just, this in. I mean, this is. Oh, this is brilliant. It's emotional. Boys and girls, we're playing it's for like, over 200,000 euros, and uh, these boys uh, are out here swinging. I knew he was going to call, man. 7 5 off in the small blind position. And he hits a pair. Oh, here we go, boys and girls. Okay. Fasten your seatbelt. What on earth is happening? And Mr. Bond is going to feel like he's ahead here a bunch of times, isn't he? Particularly against someone like Jan. Are we going to see a check race? I think it depends on sizing. Like that, that is... Uh... Well, that's a huge three-quarter pot bet, it looks like. I mean, a fair play to him. He's going to get value from it. Hello. Oh, boy. It's kicking off here. It really is. A seven would be so disguised as well. All right, that's going to... Probably hand over. I'm not sure, Henry. All in. Well, it is now, for sure. I mean, Jan, with the ace of clubs. I mean... <laughs> what's he trying to do? He just wants to clear out all the hands that he's absolutely crushing. I think this is a mistake from Jan, Henry. I mean, I've got my customer, I have him interested, and now I'm just killing him off here on the turn. You've seen Mr. Bond rattled. If I if you tell you what you have, I have to tell you what I have, I'll show you. Well, Mr. Bond won't want to tell him. Tell me the truth. Huh? Pocket seven? I'm getting the feeling, Henry, that Emil is just not comfortable with how this table's unfolding. He likes to take charge, Emil. Does. Become the table captain and kind of set the tone, but it's just not happening for him. Hello, Ace King. Back to visit Mr. Bond once again of the spade variety on this occasion, 75. Oh boy. Maybe, just maybe, that previous dialogue exchange between Robert and Mr. Bond it's gonna get Mill to make a mistake pre flop. It doesn't, does just defend. Wow. There's gonna be action, Henry. Top pair versus the good shot, backdoor spades, two over cards. Mr. Bond has a lot going on here. We Neil know what the check brutal card calls. Would be. Okay, what are you? Jack is coming. Oh, stop it! It's unbelievable. This could be the end of Emil BC Henry. What a card! Wow. Two outs once for Emil. You can see 
The remaining Jack's dead. Mr. Bond. How can you read this guy? Turning the stone cold nuts. Wow. Check raise, snap, snap call. I oh, mean, it's brutal. It really is. Now, Emil Bisse with the redraw to the full house. If he doesn't hit Henry, it's Sayonara, former champion, on the ropes. Queen or Jack, Mr. Bond stands up. Brutal stuff here for the champ. Sick turn card, seven on the river. Elimination for the former champion. Massive pot. Folds under the gun plus one. He's folding oh, under the wow. gun. Great situation for Jan. Particularly with his image. Grace. Here we go. He has become super oh. active. George, this is out of there. Now he opens with the goods. Mr. Bond with 7 5. Took a little bit of I a knew hit. it. Oh, I knew he was going to. Yeah, he's just. I knew he was going to flick just, this in. I mean, this is. Oh, this is brilliant. It's emotional. Boys and girls, we're playing it's for like, over 200,000 euros and uh, these boys uh, are out here swinging. I knew he was going to call, man. 7-5 off in the small blind position. And he hits a pair. Oh, here we go, boys and girls. Okay. Fasten your seatbelt. What on earth is happening? And Mr. Bond is going to feel like he's ahead here a bunch of times, isn't he? Particularly against someone like Jan. Are we going to see a check raise? I think it depends on sizing. Like that. That is, uh... Well, that's a huge three-quarter pot bet, it looks like. I mean, a fair play to him. He's going to get value from it. Hello. Oh, boy. It's kicking off here. It really is. A seven would be so disguised as well. Alright, oh, that's gonna probably hand over. I'm not sure, Henry. All in. Well, it is now for sure. I mean, Jan with the ace of clubs. I mean, <laughs> what's he trying to do? He just wants to clear out all the hands that he's absolutely crushing. I think this is a mistake from Jan Henry. I mean, I've got my customer. I have him interested. And now I'm just killing him off here on the turn. You've seen Mr. Bond rattled. If I if you tell you what you have, I'll tell you what I have, i show you. Well, Mr. Bond won't want to tell him. Tell me the truth. Huh? Pocket seven? know the history you, know, you, just, you just don't know what's been going on at the tables now Ross smells blood here mr. bond on a downswing check back the flop with his good shot and now Ross Gaff is going to try and steal this. No idea. 
I'm not sure about this bear, not sure about this defend. I think this is very player dependent. And well That's just know. remarkable really. We now river showdown. Oh sicko. <laughs> Mr. Bond. The absolute What sicko. has happened this man? It's a completely different player to yesterday. Gaff hasn't that folded, by the way. Alright, let's all right, let's see, let's see. Okay. He looked extremely suspicious there. He's, like, he's got ace queen with like the ace of spades. You just got off this guy, man. The, this guy. Mr. Bond. Does wait, wait for Martinson, who's not going to get super out of line with this Queen 4 offsuit on the button. He's going to allow Adamski to create some action from the small blind. He is covered by the big blind. <laughs> the big blind, before Adamski even asks, he's like, hey, get the big chips up front, I want to see. that." Does that play in your mind, Randy, that well, Nojbao's going to have a hand? Oh, he does have a hand! Jammed! And he's going to find out it's 20 bigs. And six is Randy. Surely too much of a hand to fold. I think this is too much. There we go. Flicks it in, and Adamski's going to be delighted to see he's flipping. So many of the snap calls were dominating him. A huge flip out of nowhere. 2.7 million chips. Adamski just ripping 20 bigs. Getting action. Yeah, this escalated quickly once he asked how many... Big chips you got, even though action wasn't to him yet. But here we go, to a flop. Safe for the sixes. Nine, nine, four. Damski needing to find some paint. Or running straight. Turn of no use. One card from elimination. Needs that queen or jack for Damski to stay in here. And that's the end. It is GG's for Damski.
funny. All righty, folks, we're back just in time for the first hand. Blinds have gone up to 60, 120, 120. Queen, Queen, 5 is the flop. Blind v. Blind battle. We are on the final table bubble. Robert going to take that one down with a small bet. And on the Queen Queen 5, I think King Tree Diamonds could opt to bet themselves there. <laughs> Current payout is €14,665. I see more and more viewers rolling in on this Monday afternoon, soon to become evening. You're all very well. Are you going to raise the 250 from the cutoff with ace nine off suit? Robert, with all the chips, is going to three bet with this combo. Wants to make it at least three x. Goes for seven fifty. I would opt to closer to a mil. And he will take that one down. <coughs> the ace nine not being able to withstand the pressure from the chip leader. Thank you. 
Robert staying active as he should. They say it off suit, going to be more than good enough to open the button here. Ran, going to defend with Jack Four Spades. Green 10 8 is the flop, one spade, two clubs. And Ran gets there on the river. Now with the best hand. It's the straight. I think we want to be betting about three quarters pot. Exactly the kind of sizing Ryan goes for there. Robert just gives it up just with a pair of eights, but could easily have two pair or a queen, etc., that would be forced to pay off. Master says, I'm Portuguese, and Rand's name is anything but Portuguese, even though he has the Portuguese flag. Who is this guy? Couldn't tell you. That's not my area of expertise. I'm not the detective. I just say what I see. But it does happen from time to time. I do get corrected about people's nationalities and flags but a lot of the time people are just living in that country and other times they are using the flag that they are actually from place they're actually from
is all in. The current strategy for the chip leader should be just going to pound town, keep putting his opponents to the test. Just has so much chips. MC going to get a walk. Yep. Your rough couple of hands before the break. Robert Ray's the 250 here at 75 off suit. Ryan is going to defend with 87 off suit. Is King five five trips for Robert? Okay. Needs to see about, about one big blind here, one sixty something around that area. Also one seventy five. Same difference. Takes it down. He could have even opted for a check there with the trips. Thank you. 
Right, I'm going to complete the small with 7.5 off suit. And Ali in the big blind with 10 3. Could bump it up to try to take this one down, pray. Put the pressure on. Decides to just check. Please three deuces to flop all diamonds. Probably just bet one big blind here for a rant. Anywhere up to half pot. Goals for one big blind. <clears throat> Ali with a pair of trees. Unlikely his opponent has an ace. Just going to be calling. You will call the turn is the six of diamonds. Close for Ran. Just going to check. Are you going to check back? River. Giving Ali chips. With the more pairing, I would go for value, even if we do just have the seven of diamonds. Doesn't need to bet too big. The 240, 300, something around that area. Two hundred is the bet. With the trips here, I feel like Ali is just gonna have to pay this one off. He's getting four to one on his money. Ali is going to call. And takes it down. Happy to get a call. Nobody wants to bust in 10th place and miss out on the Eureka main event final table. 
really nice payday so far, 14,665 euro, but all chasing that first prize of 243,500 euro. And there is about a five grand pay jump between 10th and 9th So it is squeaky bum time out there. Nobody wanting to make a mistake. It cut the tent with a knife. It's all happening under one roof. It's the King's Resort live from Rosvedov. Anna says that was a nice value bet. Yeah. Nice sizing to get paid. Stefan with 12 bigs on the button is going to show for the ace four off suit. He left the goal with King Nine of Clubs. Could have opted for an open there, but Robert on the button decides against it. Raised 250 on the button, Queen 8 off suit, and ran in the big with Jack 9 of Diamonds. Wants to be defending with this one.
for bed, 175. Six three three is the flop. Robert Benton one seventy five. Let's just take that one down with a bet. Ali can defend this one with the Queen 9 off suit and the big facing the open from the cutoff of Robert with Jack 10 off suit. Ali will flick it in. We're off to a flop. Queen 8 7. East for both players. Straight draw for Robert. Top pair for Ali. Coast check, check. Turn is the ace of spades. Now, surely this is a card that Robert wants to bluff at. Right the call, the river is the four of hearts, 1.28 million in this pot now. Robert is just going to give up. Might have just continued barreling there if I was Robert to get my opponent to fold a hand like an eight or a seven. Unlikely he's going to get a queen to fold anyway. No harm in trying. 134 bigs. 100 bigs more than second place. Ali with 34. Ram with 30. MC with 18. And Stefan Fink is the shortest stack at this feature table. We are playing... We have no outer table coverage. We only have information about the feature table itself. We are as live as live can be from the King's Resort in Rosvedov on a 30 minute play. One elimination to go in the Eureka main event before we have our final table. It is all to play for. Super exciting stuff here on this Monday evening. If you're just tuning in, that's what you're watching. Welcome.
Tip 3. Two for. One for. The... Three days, Olin. Stefan getting that one through with a rejam. Nice pick up for him. Nine will go to the final table indeed. Just have a vote. Robert getting a walk. MC might rejam this one facing a button open King Ten off suit. Five race, all in. Goes rejam. I might have just ripped if I was Stefan there with 16 bigs into the chip leader in the small blind. 16 seems fine. Anything over 20 would be overkill, but now we're just going to be forced to fold. Facing Rejam.
one for the three for the four raise two hundred fifty. Robert's going to raise, and this is going to be a re-jam for MC with the ace jack of clubs in the small blind. Five raise, all in. Six for the... Four fold. Five raise. Nice pick up there for the ace jack. Robert raises to 250 with pocket tens in the cutoff. Pocket has asked, will I be playing anything at the Irish Open? I hope to be playing the Irish Open. They asked a special request. Hopefully it's going to be the return of Al Dante. Alan, the giveaway go Finn, should be in the boot. That weekend, I will confirm all details this week, hopefully. I was supposed to be off this weekend and last weekend. I was going to go to Dublin to play Fintan Gavin's Irish Poker Tour, the 100 euro buy in. 100 euro buy in had a 100k guarantee, 20 grand for the winner. Unbelievable numbers. It's far removed from the tournament we're commentating on right here right now the eureka main event quarter of a million up top close to it anyway 243,500 euro 10 still remaining clip says he's hoping to play the mini main the jp masters and a couple of others midweek perhaps we will have to rendezvous apocalypse See what happens. Hunted Hippo, I love the name. Welcome. We just uh, we just have ten players remaining. Just one elimination to go. I showed a total stack. No, guys, one more elimination. Everyone will be at the same table. You can ask all your questions then. At the moment, we are playing two tables of 500 each. Pressure will break. Somebody it won't be too long before they're all get together.
Yeah, there'll be plenty of time to see the stacks, the leaderboards be in front of your face a good bit at this final table. I would be shocked if Robert wasn't your ship leader in the tournament with 134 big blinds. Put it that way. He's in the small blind. Wants to bump this up to about 350, maybe even 400. Goes for 350. Put the pressure on. By the way, mentioned this a few times, but there is a five grand pay jump between 10th and 9th. So you're going to see players stall and play a bit cagey. It's understandable. Robert can pretty much raise any two here on the button. But MC is going to stuff it all in from the eight. small blind. That's a couple of pickups now MC's got. Granted, he's had big hands. Nice to be taking down those blinds and antis and the raise from the button. Playing five handed blinds and antis coming around, decimating your stack, eating. Devouring it alive. So it's nice to be re jamming and getting those ones through. Gonna pick up the hands to do so.
And it is says 45 million chips in play, 16 million for Rob. That's 35 percent of all the chips in play. Wow, when you put it like that. Ali taking that one down pocket trees. One race, Olin. Ali three betting from the small blind with ace king of clubs. MC opening two fifty from the cutoff. And five is paid. Think show from the button seven five off suit. 
don't like this shove from Stefan. It does get through. MC not going to call with ace three off two. Robert taken down. Rodas is taking down this pop, but the big blind here is ran. Queen eight off suit gets rid of the small blind. Robert with seven six of hearts. Man will defend and the flop is ace jack nine. Six draw for Robert is going to continue. That's 200k. Ran with a straight draw. People are crying out in the chat for the Ten of Hearts on the turn. I think Ran has to call here. For Hart, I'll work in forms. It's a straight draw. Decides to let it go, knows he's going to be put to the test on Turn and River with large sizings and with two hearts on board. Just decided he didn't want to risk it. I feel like he should be calling for that sizing, though. He's getting very good odds to see the turn card, and we will never know if the Ten of Hearts was going to roll off for the fans in the chat. I'm sure there's going to be lots of hands. For the fans in the chat at this final table, so much money on the line. One of the bigger ones I've ever commentated on. Three days, Aline. Just beautiful stuff. These one players five. remaining. Five balls. It's going to be all at one table for a quarter of a million euro almost. We've got here. Stefan shoving from under the gun and ran with pocket eight. This one, very close. I feel like eight is just going to be too good. Five-handed. You have your opponent covered. ICM sucks right now. I could understand folding five, sixes, and sevens. I think eights plus might be just too strong. This is an eight plus kind of a spot for me. Maybe we need to be even slightly tighter and it could be nines plus. I just think eight is going to be right on the line. Between chaos and order. I expect to see him call here. Plus we are the covering stack. One 
Stefan will take down the blinds and anties, getting eight to fold there. It's massive. Just have a ask, open with ace jack when someone jams, then what do you do? Well, with 12 bigs, you just want to take that move away from your opponent, shove yourself. Ali raised 350 with the six deuce of diamonds and Stefan in the big with Jack then off suit. 230 to call. And Stefan wants to be calling there at the very least. It's going to be too good of a hand, even if we are on the FT bubble, to see a flop in position. And the blinds have just gone up 100k, 150k, with 150k running big blind ante, still 10 players remaining. Ran, been raising from the cutoff of 10 9 of hearts. Queen 6 off still for Robert in the big blind. He wants to just let this go, Robert. No need to get involved here. Could see a flop if he wants. Just decide it's going to be good enough. Get behind it. Jack 9-4 is the flop. Fifty out there. Does Ram want a better check? I think there's a merit to both. I might just want to check this on in position. Just check behind. Turn is a six of hearts. Robert checks. Check. 
Brian going to check back at the river is the four of hearts. We're going to bet 350, and I just feel like Collar is going to snap him off here, and he will do just that. Robert loses a small plot, but it's a nice ish pot for Rand. Better to be winning them ones than losing them. I believe that's going to be the last hand. There has been an elimination at the outer table, so we are going to go on a break for the goods of 20 minutes. It's that time of the evening. We're going to come back for the Eureka main event final table. Action has been fast and exhilarating so far. It's going to be a very, very fun final table. So join us in 18 minutes. Don't go anywhere. You'll be right back. I keep it. I keep the box. Are you come here? Yes. <laughs> k with the 5-4 suited but look at Yusef ace jack suited he's going for the 25k big value chips which tells me he's going to three bet not what Georgius wants to hear with five high Youssef. Does put in the three bat. And yeah, he's got 40%, so an, an amazing price. Like he needed 25. Oh boy. Well, oh, I mean, he might be in it's trouble. just lights out. I, how often are you drawing dead on the flop and no limit hold'em? Oh, go on, you said knuckle up, bro. Oh, like bet small, like B33. Tiny, like three blinds. Oh, he's going smaller. Go on, yeah, B20 is fine. Now, if I'm Georgius, and I do make the call pre-flop, and I flop it up and down straight, I'm certainly continuing. This is... Uh Six sizing here. Does just call. That's some very excited hands in the last orbit or so. We all know what the action turn card would be. Georgius misses 705,000. Now, Yusef, please go super small, Yusef. There is no, you have an absolute lock on this hand. Keep your customer interested. 200K, please don't go all in. 200K. Perhaps Georgius considers the check raise. Do you know it'd be even better, Henry? Check back. That would just be quality. Nothing to fear. Stone cold nuts. Love it. 150k. 
think when we're blocking the flushes that could call and it's more likely that George's has like a pair with a spade or like a hand like king queen yeah nice lay down well I say nice lay down you know, five high but yeah off to the first break of the day and what an exciting end there with the no flush draw his overcard could be good he's going to have a big decision here Henry ah, easy fold easy fold Stinka obviously gets out of the way and Naros folds Jan Jorgensen has none of this Georgius does he want to take a spin? That's the question. Uh, he's asking for a count, but I, I don't think he uh, ever yeah. calls here. Just not getting the right price. I think maybe I, I think you're you're right. Like if he if he knows the uh, the ace is good, then maybe. But like running into like ace ten, ace ten of diamonds is uh, a disaster. He's got 48% equity there. Needs to call one mil to win 1.5, meaning he'd need, what, 33% equity. He's got it. Georgius. I mean, he's just not a punter, right? No. You He's don't you don't come this far to just punt it off of a flush draw. You're pretty frustrated that you don't get to see a turk card, but you know, you're like, why did he bet three hundred K or something like that? But Mr. Bond letting rip four hundred and sixty K in the pot and he just jams the lot in. Georgius he makes the call, wow. Henry. Wow. That's quite remarkable. I actually wow. was leaning towards what you were saying. You convinced me, Henry. But Georgius, both players with the same stack size. Woo. Nine, up and down straight draw to go along with the flush draw. A turn card. Six is good. Jack is good. Ace is good. King of Spades is no good. Two pair for Mr. Bond. One million shove on the flop. Let's go. Now Mr. we have a Bond. player with a stack. 2.5 million. Feels like the type of hand it would be a disaster to... Raise fold right versus this lineup. No. Okay. I mean that would have been just high level stuff. The flat call with the queens after the undergun limped. Three point five X raise from Santos with the Queens. You set folds and now Mr. Bond with ace nine. Looks back at the ace before looking at his second card. Nope, hasn't improved. Still the nine of spades. Oh, the big blind get through as well. Oh, oh, wow. It's cooler. And look, Jack will be in the bin. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, we're going into Robert break as well. Kukoska. I mean, it's over. There's no escape, Henry. He's going to put his money in. Never doubted it. Georgius 
I mean, this is just a snap fold. But the noteworthy part of this fold is that one of the jacks will be going over the line. Snap call from Santos with the Queens. Yeah. It's a really bad situation. Spades working for Robert. That's been mentioned. And one of his jacks already dead. So it's a, a one out type of situation. You can see his reaction. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty grim, man. He's been That's so patient with horrible. his short stack and absolutely horrible. Finally chipped up a little bit and just gets Jacks into Queens. No well, chop possibility. Yeah, potentially. I mean, we'll, we'll take a sweat, right? Well, that's the end of that. Jack of hearts, Jack of hearts only to save Robert. Well, Robert has Santos covered, but it's a big blow for Robert. Hey, you Shoot know the code. fold, mate. You know, reverse implied odds, kiddo. Watch the 5-5 five, five flop. I mean, watch the 5-5 five, five flop. And watch the 500 other boards where it doesn't come 5-5 five, five, with 11 left in the main event. Four players. Four players. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's the, the, even the dealers kind yeah. of going, what the hell is going on here? It's like we're getting a flop every hand. But well, something for everyone. Kaiser's connected, bottom pair. Good shot for Andrea. Top, top for Stinka. And Sammy has hit top pair. And what would have happened if we defended King 5 offsuit out of the big blind? Well, you're probably check folding now. Oh, given that Sammy's oh. three bet. Okay, just and now we're folding top pair out of the big blind. Absolutely. Absolutely, and Shake. you can see him nodding his head, looking in disgust at Stinka. Stinka with the goods here, moves all in. Sammy's calling. I think Sammy goes with this, Henry. In a spot of bother here. I call. He calls it, Henry! And it's goodbye, Sammy. I can't see a way out, obviously. Ten ball. Would get him out of trouble. Zwei Mal nicht geraced, Alter. Heftig. Was König? König 10. The flat pre. König Dame. Looks like it's going to earn Stinke a massive 7.4 million pot. Sammy. Made top pair. Three bet. And now calls the four bet from Stinke. Really? Nine Come on, on, the on the river. turn. Now, Jack for the straight, 10 for two pair. I mean, it'd be absolutely brutal were Sammy to hit here. Stinka, almost stoic as he just yeah. sits oh. down and the Jack yeah. on the river. This is just unbelievable. Oh my goodness. Stinka. Three players involved. First to act Mr. Bond. Well, it's a problem for Armando. He's connected, he's made top pair. Mr. Bond with none of this. Just waiting for a check, and there it is. And now Dario. Well, he's going to fire for sure. 64,000 in the pot. 
Oh, sneaky, Henry. Interesting check. Armando, top pair. Chip leader, big stack. Looks to be about 50% pot size bet. 30k, Mr. Bond is going to get out of the way. And Dario, he likes this check raise move. Green pass. So it's Italy versus Italy. Smooth call with the Kings. Six check, six balls. Yeah, King of Diamonds for dessert. Armando picks up a good shot with his top pair. Dario with the same draw, but he's ahead with the Kings. Queen would chop it. Check back from Armando and, well, Dario, it's like a bad beat, Henry. That Queen on the river. I'd love to see a jam here. Be so sexy. Although, would be missing out on value, but in terms of uh, getting your opponent off a chop. I think block jam is really sexy as well. Like, B33, 40k. I don't mind. I don't, I don't mind like 150% over bet. And I don't mind inducing the uh, the raise to then jam because we always have ace king and our opponent never has ace king in this spot. He's gone polar though. Close to the pot. Yeah, yeah. That's quite remarkable. Armando clearly put him on Ace King. You called it, Henry.
Would you look at them all there in the photo together, aren't they lovely? I'll tell you what's even more lovely, the amount of money they are playing for. €243,500 for the winner. Lights, camera, action, cards are about to be in the air for the Eureka main event. Final table, live from the King's Resort in Rosvadov. If you are just joining us, welcome. This is going to be a hell of a final table. Some stars left in the field, as you would expect. And a couple of recreationals also with the opportunity to win substantial life-changing money. Not bad. They've all secured almost a 20 grand payday already. 19,400 euro is the current payout from a 1,100 euro buy-in. I feel like when I'm talking while they're taking photos, I'm somehow messing up the photos. Even though they can't hear me. They can't see me, and I'm not in the way of the camera. <laughs> it just feels that way. I hope to be in the way of the camera for that kind of money someday. Turn the volume down to make the picture better. Exactly, apocalypse. <laughs> Next time, I'll probably just wait until... I like to just wait and let you see the leaderboards and then interject once the cards are about to be in the air. We do our patented shuffle up and deal. Let's go. But they were all just uh, looking so cool there in the photo. I have to say what I saw. <laughs> Turn the volume down to make the picture better. Very good. I'll get talking about this FT now in two seconds. Over 1.4 million in this prize pool. Over 1,500 entries. And we are down to the final nine. Robert Rolich is the runaway bride with 105 bigs. The closest to him is 34 bigs. Ankit Ahuja, who is a very good player from India. And then Vitali. Shirba with 33 bigs is in third place on this leaderboard. Aram Ali with 29. Mati or Matai, 28 bigs. Mick Heber who was playing out with his socks there last night, has obviously had a very hard day at the felt, is playing three and a half million, then Ron, Ron Collar with 21 bigs, MC with 20, and then Stefan is your only player under 10 bigs, he's playing nine big blinds at the moment, but now for Robert, I don't know how much experience he has, but he really needs to put those chips to work, he can get away with murder at this FT, because the closest to him is 34 bigs. There is massive, massive ICM pressure. The difference between the payouts are huge. It's a golden opportunity for him to put those chips to work, put his foot on the gas, and just keep applying maximum pressure. Nobody wants to bust before the other. Cards are in the air. Shuffle up and deal. Let's go. I'm excited for this one. Nice to be here with you all, whether you're tuning in from YouTube or the Poker Room Kings on Twitch.
Thank you. <laughs> the first hand is never a blood. Always, <laughs> yeah, yeah. always monster. Nine's going to take it down. First hand uh, of the FT. It looks like why you have to open up even more because everybody thinks it's a blood. Uh, uh, I'm not that far ahead. So we have <laughs> India, <laughs> Romania, <laughs> Austria, <laughs> Germany, <laughs> the <laughs> Czech Republic, <laughs> Denmark, <laughs> Ukraine, and Israel all being represented. <laughs> at this final table and being told MC is the wrong flag he is from Germany so it's a false flag for MC we've had a few false flags there today what matters is what they do with their chips in front of them Almost 20 grand current payout. Imagine taking down this title. Close to a quarter of a million. Ali under the gun is going to min with ace jack suited. Now, I'm not the biggest ICM expert. I do normally be commentating on these things when there is a lot of 10k tickets up for grabs also, which makes it even more difficult. But with a lot of the players closely bunched between 20 and 35 bigs as in one two three four five six seven players between 20 and 35 bigs at this ft this could make for some excellent action because i don't know what way the players are going to approach some of these spots that are going to come up it's all going to unfold here under one roof let's go Up in the joint here for Ali, rolling the additional 375 to see the flop and second pair for Ran. This pot now 1.75 million. And go for a small sizing here or just check his option. Let's check back. His check back range there now is going to look like exactly the kind of hand that he has. Ace Queen. King Jack occasionally might check. I don't see King Queen checking, King Ten checking, and they probably aren't in his tree betting range. Especially when it's an under the gun open. So it really is that ace queen kind of type of a holding. Ali checks a second time. And I think if we ran now, we bet something around half a mil. 450, something around that area, small, quarter pot. Goes for 425. Bit of Hollywood here from Ali now, wouldn't go straight. Before 
committing the chips. Stack to pot ratio for Ran would be exactly is exactly one to one right now. So if Ali calls, Ali would be hoping for a jam on the river. Occasionally, Ran might check back with King Jack as the aforementioned. It's very unlikely, and we block it. So you just can't really have too strong of a hand on the board. He's not going to be checking back with a hand like kings, tens, or queens on the flop. And bear in mind, it is a three bet. Pot three. Wants to know the exact amount that Ran has back, but it's all part of a master plan to look as weak as he can here. Race, Ali decides to raise the 2.6 million and How do I say? I hate this in French. <laughs> I'm not, not really a fan of this one. Just call. Once the flop goes check checks, unlikely your opponent's going to continue here when he's bet that small and you make that big of a raise. Viewer says no. I just think it's so unlikely. Granted, there's going to be a lot of bad rivers that kills the action, etc. That is the chance we take there. We just want to call that 425. I know it is a very small sizing. He does want to protect his hand, but we say protect his hand. He's got the nut straight. Obviously, a club wouldn't be nice on the river. Any card that makes a one card straight. I just think we lose our customer when we raise that amount, essentially jamming. And Anke Ahuja is a very competent player. He's one to watch out for at this FD with 5 million. Ankit has two and a half million in live caches, for example. And we've got action here. Stefan is going to rip over the top of an under the gun plus one open from MC. I have no idea why Stefan is going for this here. He has basically no fold equity. He's not even playing 10. It's like he's only got about seven big blinds. It looks like he's browned off. You don't come this far, he jam this light when the open has come off a 20 big blind stack of pocket nines. This is a bit of a brain fart from Stefan, in my opinion. Sickness, and look at this for Ali. More Hollywood, perhaps. The Kings of Kings, an ideal time to wake up. Four, 
Six Fold'da. Ali is going to 4-bet with 3 mil. Doesn't matter. It's all in and call first. All in and call at this FT. What is 2.75 mil? Queen 6-3 is the flop. And things are looking very bleak for Stefan to remain in this event. Double pair board three six queen three queen will eliminate Stefan Fink in ninth place and he surely will be regretting that jam later if not already. The nines to fold the kings eliminate a player and Ali wins nice enough pot. All he had to do was click call. Eight players remaining now, all guaranteed a minimum of 25,600 euro. Twenty five K plus now, minimum payout, eight remaining. One step closer to that title. Ali now playing 50 bigs, pretty much to start the hand here. Pocket nines facing the open of a tie from the cutoff. I am saying that right by the way, guys. Romanian was at the feature table a couple of weeks ago, I believe. And I was saying we could call him Matty, we could call him Mate. But I think Matai is going to be correct and right. Are you going to 3 bet to 800k here? By the way, this is a very light open with just Jack Do suited. Not really a fan of this. Snag says, exclamation, comments, 
Action man Dan, your Irish pundit, is your broadcaster for the duration of this event. Yeah, I know. Like the name, Snag. <laughs> Gustavo, or just Gustavo says, with the player <laughs> Ali. He destroyed my momentum. Six folder, seven folder, nine folder. Ankit Ahuja, three hundred twenty Queen Jack. Three Raise the three twenty five from the hijack. I'm seeing the big blind ace two soft suit. Sixteen pigs, one seventy five to call. You know what? I was going to say you could call here, but someone like Anke is going to put you under a lot of, of pressure. Flop turn and river under normal circumstances could just defend with the ace deuce. But with the pressure on, massive jumps, eight remaining. I actually just like to fold the ace deuce off there, even though we have our big blind invested and our big blind ante. Mal Gadsby in the house says, Afternoon, Dan. Great stream. Looking forward to this. Nice to have you with us, Mal Gadsby. Robert takes it down with the fours on the button. Thank 
Okay. Well, that's important. Like, if she's more important than, than this. Yeah, yeah, more important than this. Yes, Playing that is true. Yes. yes. I see that you're two now friends, huh? <laughs> we have to make friends. Have friends. to be, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're timing. all friends. Yeah. Go for it. The music is on. Tune up. Very friendly. Yeah. <laughs> Three four. Four four. So if we team up, leave me alone now, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. You'll see. Yeah. Well, it depends. Like edges trigger, so. Pull all the way around to the bottom, and Mick is going to get busy here with the eight picks of diamonds. Mick must have had a really bad day because he had so many chips last night. Can anyone remember how much he's bagged and tagged? It was chunks. Granted, the blinds go up, not down. But it must have been tough for him out there. Still in contention. Over 20 pigs, but a lot of work to do compared to where he was at. He was playing over 100 pig blinds late. Into the early hours of last night. Apocalypse says 4.3 million. I suppose when you put it like that, blinds were so low. He was just steamrolling Apocalypse, couldn't really lose a hand. Great player to commentate on. He is playing 26 big blinds now. Tally as well, I was told to watch out for. Someone in the chat said that earlier. I believe we're asking about him anyway. I've seen his name before. Just going to give him a little hendon. Yes, indeed. He has $294,322 in total live earnings. I don't think anyone is close to this man here, though. Over two and a half million. Ankit Ahuja from India. And you? He's going to defend with the ninth spades. A15 is part in the turn is the ace of clubs on the queen. Six jack ace. Tally with the best of it now.
one check. Tally now with two pair on the river. <laughs> Tally will take it down. <laughs> I like we're, the we're still friends. You. What? Good fault? No, I said be careful. <laughs> ah, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Give him back. Oh, guys. Don't put up with that. I think I was better. I think, yeah, you might have the best. I like it easy. I had also Jack. Yeah. These two guys made me nervous. Yeah? Yeah. It's the team down there. <laughs> <laughs> the way they're looking. You know. <laughs> yeah, it's very suspicious. <laughs> I felt like I'm getting so weird. <laughs> I feel like that. I'm gonna buy the wine, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I already forgot. Yeah. Okay, then. Stavo says Team Mick here. <laughs> yeah, let me know who you want to in this one in the chat. It'd be tough to beat Robert right now. Ali raises, a6 of hearts. Ali is going to defend with the king seven off suit.
On track nine, eight, nine. Goes check, 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 check. Never is the three of clubs. Vitali with the best of it, with ace high on the double paired board. Single pair board. Nico says, Team Vitali playing on day 1E with him. Great guy, had some really nice laughs. Nice to hear that, Nico. Thanks for letting us know. And Gustavo says, had it with the boatman. He busted me in Paris day one. Alley opening, and he's going to complete from the small blind with ace five of clubs. Robert is going to bump this one up with ace jack though. Ali just wants to be continuing here. The way he flicked that out it almost seemed like he was raising. He needs to be careful with that. Maybe he said call under his breath. Ace five will call. King Queen eight is the flop two spades. Robert now just wants to see bet this one to take down at something like three fifty even. Best 300. Takes down another pot. All these little pots add up. Mick with a big hand here under the gun, Ace King off suit.
MC all in over the top in the big blind. We're going to have action here. Nick over the top. And I think Ali can get away from Ace King here. This is crazy, guys. Ali might lose the absolute bare minimum with a hand as strong as Ace King. Mick's going to be in a terrible coin flip situation considering two of his outs are gone. That looks like what's going to happen here. What a difference a hand makes because if Ali three bets pre like he's supposed to the majority of the time, MC will go all in with the tens. Maybe even sometimes finds a fold. And then Mick... If he does jam, then Mick can probably just get away from his ace king. Perhaps that's ambitious thinking on my part. You get my drift. MC all in and Mick all in and Ali just needs to fold really to get a pay jump. be four more million for him to call just seems too much to risk but I don't blame him perhaps I think that that's an easier call easier fold than it is what a weird hand I mean all the money goes in anyway like it's supposed to the majority of the time I feel like if there's a tree bet though we could maybe even consider folding a hand as strong as tens Facing an under the gun open and a tree bet from the button. Here's a tree way all in, 11 million in the pot. And if Ali can spike an ace or a king, doesn't eliminate MC. This could be curtains for Mick. King, Queen, Nine. <laughs> Two diamonds out there, and now it's looking like MC is going to hit the showers, and Mick and Ali will chop it up. Turn is the four diamonds, and Ali, the player with the King of Diamonds in his hand. Oh, he can eliminate both players with a diamond on the river. It is the eight of clubs. <laughs> what a six way. What if he wants to do this, guys? Oh, my God. What if he wants to do this? Almost double to go. That's sick. I mean, unlucky for MC. You like joke about it, but then it comes and you're like, no. Really nice score really for him. Really, you know? I believe if there is an open under the gun and a tree bet, Tens has to go in the muck. That is most likely a Jax plus sort of a situation. 
I said if I lost that one, I needed something stronger than wine. Just because he's got limited amount of fold equity <laughs> against an under, they're going to open when you're three betting from the button, and therefore our tens are going to shrivel up significantly in an all-in confrontation. I don't think the button can three bet that wide there. Perhaps Ali has a few light three bets in his arsenal. Hard to know. But I still think ICM the computer would say no and tens would have to go in the muck. Yeah. Either way, MC. It still says eight players are remaining. But uh The eight of clubs on the river, so it is GG. Next nice score of 25,600 euro. Seven players remaining, all guaranteed a minimum of 33,700. How are you going to open from under the gun? Ace five from the cutoff. Pretty nice score so far. Thirty three thousand seven hundred euro. Ryan going to re-jam with the ace of clubs, takes that one down.
Okay, under the gun, King Queen off suit. Min rays. Oh wow, Ankit is going to 3 bet from the big blind here, putting maximum amount of pressure on the under the gun open. King 3 suited. Sexy stuff here from Ankit Ahuja. Knowing the magnitude at this moment, he's been there before as one. Lots of thirties, over two and a half billion on his hen and mob in live caches. This is just such a pressure spot with seven players remaining. Looking so strong. Using the king blocker. will eventually let it go. Nice pick up there for Ankit. Robert with Kings been raising. Uh, Ball says, Fish push, come on, come on, push fish. Watch out, Bad Ball, there's a few shacks in the water, mate. Shacks in the water. Nick is going for a tree bet here from the hijack with ace nine off suit. This will look very strong considering he's doing it against the chip leader. 
think like five minutes. Robert is locked and loaded. You want exactly come? Okay. Like five, five He's got the kings of kings. By the way, can we just have a moment here for Robert? He has 7k or so on his hen and mob live caches, but perhaps he is a cash game player or has won some tourneys online because he seems like he's playing very well. Granted, he has all the chips. No. Or back to two point two. Complaining room. What you did to me? I have King Queen. King Queen is a huge for me. Nice pick up for the chip leader nonetheless. Don't blame him for betting there. Could have elected to just call. Ali with two pair here, blind v blind. Jack four three, two clubs. Matai could have liked it to maybe throw out a little feeler here, but just decides against it out of position. Fifteen bigs. Ali paying eight million. And put a lot of pressure on him. Down the small bat. Lines up one hundred two hundred.
controller. Ping 10 is just going to shove from the button as the blinds have just gone up 100k, 200k, 200k. So it's just for 12 bigs. And this will put significant pressure on the shorter stacks and allow the bigger stacks to go ham on the shorter ones. Fubion is in the house looking for the payouts. Seven remaining. 33,700 euros. The current payout playing for the first prize of 243,500 euro. Ran with the main. Mick is going to stuff it on him. Ran's min ray is going to look very strong there off 12 digs, but Mick undeterred says if you've got better than eight, let's go. I think eights is about the bottom we want to rejam there. Eight of the chip counts. Ali separates himself from the rest of the pack there. Then Vitali with 27 bigs, Ankit with 25, Mick with 24, Matai with 14, Rand with 10 bigs, and Robert, of course, still overwhelming chip leader with 84 big blinds. Team against team. Friend against friend. Chop? Can we? I'm not sure. <laughs> Completes in the small with ace four off too.
There's eight seven. Make with top pair, open ender for Vitali. Vitali in position. Six left, two twenty five. Going about 225. Seven Tally will call million in this pot. Turn is the eight of diamonds. Double flush draw on this board. Paired. Mick want to bet a second time here or try to go into check call mode. Merits to both. Unlikely his opponent has an ace. But unlikely Mick has an eight. So check calling seems like play to me. Let's go for the check. Charlie going to bet four twenty five. Does go check call as I predicted, and the river is the jack of clubs, and that is not a card. Mick is gonna like to see, unless he's planning on turning that ace of clubs into a bluff as a no flush blocker. But it is a paired board, and that jack of clubs gives Vitali the straight. Nearly two million in the pot. Vitali going for about sixty percent. One point one five mil. Tell you what, this would be a sick spot. Turn the ace of clubs into a bluff. Would it be believable though? The way this is played out. I feel like it would. If Mick can pull this one off, I will be highly impressed. His opponent can have full houses like seven eight. Jack eight, maybe. Does have one of eights in his range. Could have a flush himself. Or straight, of course.
will be the play of the day if Mick could make it. But decides to just call. He could be just a bit too ambitious trying to shove there when we can call and win with our ace from time to time. But I think if we're gonna do something sick, it needs to be a jam. Gonna lose too often there, just calling with the ace, but I understand it completely. Not every day you're going to be at the final table of the Eureka main event. <clears throat> There's going to be better spots than running the risk of being eliminated to a full house there, or a flush might even call. Maybe Vitaly will call with a straight. I just wanted to see the maximum amount of action. You can't blame me. It's all happening here. Live from the King's Resort in Roswell, if you're just tuning in. 10 past 8 in the evening on this Monday. Because I'm bluffing. For sure I'm bluffing River. Maybe. The teams are uh, not too friendly. Huh? Yeah. The teams are not so friendly. No, I was about to say he's not my partner anymore. Yeah, so, so <laughs> I, I need a new partner because he's not that much. We should team up now. <laughs> yes. He definitely must have considered jamming with the Ace of Clubs. See, the thing about shoving there with the Ace of Clubs is. You might just call with the no flush considering your opponent can have a full house. Maybe I'm just overthinking the entire situation and we just call our fold because we have the ace in our hand. Seven fold. Nine fold. Nico says, really good commentating. I enjoy listening to you. Thank you very much for your yeah. comment. Love to hear things like that. Yeah, greens up. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Two fold, yeah. Still dead inside. Ask who is our commentator? It's Action Man Dan, your Irish pundit broadcaster. The duration of this event. Alleyman raising on the button and anchored in the big blind 23 bigs. Does he want to tree bet and juice or just open rip over the top of the open from the button? I think there's merits to both, but if you don't think your opponent's going to be four bet ripping much, I just think we re jam this one ourselves. One of those. 
a million to one. And it does seem to think there is external value to be had by Trebek calling it off. Doesn't matter now. <laughs> That's all about knowing your player. Vitaly, very competent player as well, is going to be capable of four bet ripping. I think you had like. Hands like ace deuce to ace five suited, all the baby pairs. Hands like ace jack, ace queen, ace ten, maybe even ace eight suited plus, maybe maybe ace nine suited plus. Get rid of those ace six, ace sevens, ace eights. So he feels like he can get four bet ripped. Call it off. Also, might get a hand like king queen. King Jack to shove, although it's a bit less likely. My whole point is, if he feels like he can induce there, then why not three back call it off? My go-to would be to just ram a jam that one, and take down the pot. And Ryan is going to be showing this one from the button of seven bigs. King Queen off too. Fives is going to call in the big blind. Matai <laughs> <laughs> like, uh. um, is going to be left for five pigs if he can't successfully win this flip. And as for Ran, Ran is the at risk player. And five deuce is the flop, a set of fives now for Matai. That's looking very nice indeed for a double up for him. Turn is Jack, it's never easy. Out for Ran now as we hit the river. River is the six of diamonds, and we will lose Ran Fuller in seventh place. I will scoop those chips and now playing 22 big blinds. Ran will take home 33,700 euro for his efforts. He ran pretty good until he didn't. Six players remaining now, all guaranteed a minimum of 44,500 euro and we are now six handed.
Then we might be all in. I think first time everybody is yeah, all in. Yeah. He falls first time. But everybody else. Is he knows we're going to suicide, yeah. right? <laughs> and then he finishes second. Very good. <laughs> oh. Min raising from the high jack will take that one down. Blind Panthes adds half a mil to his stack. is going to compete in the small here at 10-6 of suit. Tally bumps it up to 10-4. Takes it down. Det 
Ja, helt vildt. Men man sidder nærmest og tilder. Så, så må vi lige smadre den. Det er, så de ikke bliver glade af, i hvert fald. <laughs> ja, GL. Jo, tak. Uh, uh, dig må dig tænke det. Ja, easy. Jeg tror, 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 jeg Like five point something. Uh, five five point eight. Five point eight together. Yeah. Yeah. Seven point. Natali is going to complete in a small 9-6 of clubs and Ahuja going to bump this one up with Ace 10 suited. No, he's just going to check his option, play his hand for his value in position. One. <coughs> Seven back. Two hundred. It's only going to bet 200k here. Ace five five, one club, backdoor. <coughs> Club draw working for him, backdoor straight draw working for him, and wouldn't be thinking that Ankit will be checking back with much ace X in his hand. And kick on it. Put a stop to it. I'll take that one down. Felt like he could get additional value, I presume. Look at this. Almost 17 million for Robert with six players remaining. Ali with 41 bigs. Vitali 34. Ankit with 32. Matai with 22 and Mick is the shortest stack but still playing an okay 13 bigs in this kind of a structure. Robert got a min raise from the hijack with 10 8 suited.
Bad ball says holla. Holla, bad ball. On ball two, buddy. Join the club. I look like a Polish Tyson Fury. Big Ryan debating whether to complete with the King Six off suit. Actually, debating something different altogether. M's are raising chip, and that's a three bet to one million and change. Keeping himself with 15 and a half big blinds behind. This is almost on the line for Robert here. The call for 675 more to see a flop in position with a hand like 10 8 suited. There is 1.775 million already out there, so we're getting about 3 to 1. A bit less. And a half 1. Just don't think. Perform too well considering the big line is going to be pretty strong in this exact situation. Man, we already have chips invested. We are in position. We are the chip leader. All momentum shifting in our direction. All of these are reasons to call. And he does call and gets the second pair on this flop on Queen 10 3. And with the king blocker, we block hands like king queen. And king 10. So well, that would likely just re jam. So when he bets 475 here, he's either got the top of his range or the bluffier side of things. Robert's not going to be going anywhere for this sizing. Thirteen bigs back for the tight. is queen 2.4 million in this pot and now I feel like the big blind just has to give up because Robert going to have a lot of queen x that is one of the main holdings he's going to have calling in position in 3 bet pot you know I have queen 9 suited queen 10 queen jack etc Combos of King Queen, although we do block that with the King of Hearts in our hand. We unblock the clubs. Just feel like it's going to have to give up. You know what? I might just put the hammer down here if I was Robert. Stop any more action coming on the river. If I'm beaten, beaten, if I lose 2.7 million, so be it. Here comes the line of diamonds.
I think once we check the turn, I don't think we're just going to start blasting on the river. Up ratio less than one to one against the chip leader. Give it a good try. Line of diamonds does complete them straight. And Jack gets there. I feel like King Jack would probably just re jump right by Jack against the big blind. Wow. I think he's going for it here. Try to get like an ace high type holding the fold. I don't think this is going to work. 875, 4.275 million in the pot. Getting 35 to 1 on his money. He's right, just being kind to pay the man. him off and he's going to lose a chunk of chip there. Less than a million in 4.2. Did you also consider jamming? <laughs> Huh? Did you also the jammings or no? No, uh, Peter. I saw your hand just right now. Ah, uh, yeah. That was kind of my brother feel yeah. like you have too many value hands that uh, I, I think it's I think it's an overkill to jam my hand. Yeah, no, but, but, but there's a bluff. There's a bluff. Then. No, no, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Like bluff, ah, okay. But I mean, like, uh, I think I would prefer some other hands that it's not that strong to bluff with. Yeah. I'm not sure. I could. I mean, I had a six. I mean, you had a club and the ace. I mean, yeah. Four raise. Four hundred. Yeah, we paid my last. Six four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I have to fold, but right? I mean. Yeah, but jam. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like I cannot fold. Like I never beat any value and. Uh, like, like there's exactly not there's like not that many bluffs of value. Yeah. Like I have to turn like a, a I don't know like a mid uh, ace or or like a mid pair to bluff against. Robert Fast approaching 20 million in chips now and two red ladies. If I break, I think you need to go big, right? Yeah, because of yeah, 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 you. I was thinking if I should go like big or return, but. Yeah, that would make a lot, lot of sense from mm -hmm. that flash. I'm not sure. I feel you should end. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I should call it like your like some of your Jack ten, Jack nine, you know you're gonna slow down. Yeah. So you need to have like nine six, six five, nine, six, six, six four five, with a back yeah. door or something like that, but I don't know. Ah. I guess it felt like I was pretty on the rip, but Yeah, I mean on the turn I was still thinking we need to fall down some I'll other just things. Take down the blinds and antis. So, I mean you can tell yeah, you can have it. I don't know, maybe also I don't know, maybe check check. Check the seven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for, for sure. Like I mean your your hand seems like a mandatory bit on the Yeah. Yeah. I mean I wasn't sure about bigger and not bigger. Deep turn and bigger river. I mean if you go bigger you kinda of say you have the eight, right? Yeah. If you normally jam half an ace or I think you you got like on a half right? Yeah, I'm forty five. Yeah, I'm you could probably say like you have uh, uh, you have some aces I guess. Yeah. You check you check as well. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I should slow down because they will not hold uh, 
and the ice on the river if it goes. If I go, like, I mean, my idea was also not to go crazy and try to hold out some other things, not just not the ice, which would be like, you, you, you know, you know I'm not getting, yeah, yeah. one fall. Yeah if, if you, yeah, if you decide to bet to a big turn, I think you need to basically pick, shove, yeah, shove a river. Yeah. More risky, maybe better, I don't know. Yeah. Definitely dangerous. I mean, yeah. Always of it, like I'm, mean, I wasn't sure, but I thought I could like kind of rule out an eight because we didn't dig that big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you still have like the nine ten and all the flushes, of course. I'm not sure if I should fold. Maybe. I hate these spots. <laughs> I know. We are teammates, of course. I've been losing so many spots like in day two. Nice to see them all. Right. Chatting with each other. They do a lot of spots like that that I was like not sure, and I have to like kind of call river, and they always had it. Yeah, that like and always on the on the river. I, I mean, it's of course it's uh, I would say selective mind, but but with dice that like some periods where people just have it all the time, and you're like, yeah, of course they just. <laughs> so, and sometimes it makes sense, right? Like because they shouldn't be bluffing so much in some cards. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but when you get frustrated a lot, and you're just <laughs> starting, you know, to think like, oh, like, you know, like just. Guys are discussing strategy here. What runs and bad runs. They need to be careful. They need to be giving away too much info. You have more value combos on the Jacob clubs, but also it's like a like a very good buff card, right? Yeah. Like if if you come to the river with six five or six four nine six ten six maybe. Nice to see them all chatting and having the crack, playing for so much money. Ali in the cut off Queen Jack of Diamonds. And we're going to have action here because Mick is going to be rejamming this one from the small blind and I feel like Ali is going to be priced in. Ali decides to let it go. I feel like that is an unbelievable spot to eliminate someone for 11 bigs. Especially a man of mixed caliber. Perhaps it's just too much of a punt given the ICM pressure. I just feel like Queen Jack Suter of all hands in the deck is going to be one of the prettiest ones to call there. <laughs> Robert getting jacks now, getting hit with the deck. 20 million in chips, quarter of a million for top. It's all going in that man's direction. I mean, I fold 
We'll take that one down. How I run uh, yesterday, I'm like, I, I cannot complain at all. Uh, I mean, at one point I had 5.5, then I got tired and started spearing a little bit. And, yeah. Yeah, somebody told me about the hand you had ISIS versus some poker ISIS, the guy called me down. He called me down free speech, yeah. Mm. I mean, I didn't see the hand, I, I'm I just. Not, I'm not saying it's unreasonable, but at that time of the tournament, I didn't expect him to call me down. But I was I was quite active, so I I mean I'm not saying it's complete fun. Two million right behind? No, no, no. Yes? 1.9 including this. With this? With thank you. No, it's two. Two including this. Okay. Because right. right, it's tough, really tough to yeah. count one by one. It's good, it's good. I fold. Yeah. So fold. Also for my ex teammate. Ex? <laughs> <laughs> Anker will take it down. Yeah, I need better aim, yeah. <laughs> For the next round. If I'm still alive. Look, Shaw says, not every day you're looking at 10 8 off suit on the big blind. A lot of opens. Yeah, well, Anker's not going to be afraid to put the pressure on. I feel like I didn't mention that enough about that bump up with the 10-8 off suit. It's just the wrong man, I think. But you can't be letting the chip leader get away with murder every time. You've got to put him in his place. And he also could be raising so light that you're going to get those three bets through. And they look so strong. The flip side of that is, it's the chip leader's party, it's his world, and you have to live in it because of ICM. He's got you handcuffed, in a sense. Ball says commentaries are dot 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 dot. Not sure what you mean there, buddy. Oh, the commentary. You mean every day? It is every day. I'm looking at 10 8 off in the big blind yet. If that's what you meant, we do. We see it all. Yeah, that's it, bad ball. I have seen that ticker in the bottom right hand corner go as far as 360 hands one time that's a hand for every day of the year only they all happened in one day quick maths sometimes you go a bit mad
giving me a hard time in the chat. Are you bad, bald? Sure, all is laughing. I'm getting the cut off. King eight of diamonds. in the small blind queen jack queen jack of hearts in the small blind facing the open in the cutoff Is just going to call, play this one conservatively. I think this is the best option from the small blind facing the cutoff open. We're playing very similar in stacks. And look at this. Super strong stuff here from Robert. Makes it one and a half mil to go. Really sexy stuff there from Robert, and he's now playing 21.4 million. Look, Shoro is all for it. Nico says, probably online player applying pressure with the short stack at the table. Nice. Yeah, well, when the Queen Jack suited calls in the small, his range is going to be pretty tight. But at the same time, if he had a really strong hand, he's most likely going to tree bet. So unless he's trapping, you can just view his small blind as dead money. He's not going to be able to continue out of position once we put the squeeze on. And a player... Like Ankit's caliber, well capable of raising with a wide enough range that it's going to be very profitable. I don't think it matters what your cards are there. It's just you've got all the chips. You're the big dog. And there's no point in being at the table like a big dog if you bark like a puppy. So he is just going to use those chips to his advantage. Takes down a nice pot and extends his lead. If he keeps applying pressure like that, it's going to be very difficult to take this man out. He's impressed me so far. Granted, the deck has been forever in his favor, but sure, that's what it takes to take down events like this. It's a wicked combination when skill and luck meet each other in the middle. And I would like to know if he is an online beast, if anyone has any additional information on the man, because he only has 7k in live caches on his hand and mob and maybe he's a cash game player we see this time and time again where their accolades that they have online in the live realm isn't matching the skill set and he's just been playing so well i'd like to know if that tells the full story i don't think it does just 7k in caches i love a scrappy underdog and someone who hasn't been in this kind of situation before taken down or at least putting himself to get a podium finish in such a massive event. Nico says, bark like a puppy. You can disarm a big dog with puppy cuteness. Brilliant. 
Well said. I got a puppy myself. I'll be going down to check on him at the break. And the break will be coming up very shortly. I hope you're all enjoying the show. It's been a great final table so far. So many spots to talk about. I like how engaging the chat has been today. It's far from over. Seven and a half hours into the stream. Could go on for many hours yet. Ali in the hijack pocket tens. This will be the last hand before the break, folks. We're going on break for the guts of 15 minutes. I'm going to come back. Lots more action. Robert going to apply the pressure from the cutoff with King 8 suited, but this time Ali has the goods, pocket tens, and opening in the hijack, three bet in the cutoff. I think this is a great candidate to just four bet rip, especially off this stack size. Doesn't really want to be going post swap out of position against the chip leader. Conservative route would be to just call, and I would understand just calling, but I feel like this is going to be a superior play to just four bet rip it in his face. He's just going to go for a call. Two and a half million in this pot now as we see the flop. Jack 7 3. One over card to Ali's pocket tens. Oh, we're going to check his cards. They're very closely sitting beside each other, these two players. There's a bet about 800k here. And Ali is just going to give it up. Wow. That's why I would f way prefer to see him 4-bet rip pre if he's just going to check fold for that sizing. Incredible stuff, really shows the magnitude of this moment and how big of a final table this is for the players involved. Robert with 114 bigs, Vitaly 34, Ali with 28, Ankit with 27, Mick with 13 and Mathai is your shortest stack with 13 players remaining. Still six-handed, we're going on a break. Stay tuned, you don't want to go anywhere, you don't want to miss this. We'll be right back. There's not a player at this table who doesn't mind seeing that nine roll off on the turn. That much I can assure you is the talents of Shilko no longer need to be contended with. You play slowly, slowly, but now you're hot. Well, no time for any eulogies. As 
March on here. Absent Shilko, 45 remaining. King Queen suited from the hijack. Not all in, but mostly in. Ale Sara saying, don't forget Benitez called time against Charles Corneth in a hand at the break that he wasn't even playing in. I remember that. <laughs> Chance had some choice words for Benitez I after that imagine. one, too. That was at the World Series of Poker main event in Vegas oh, this summer. Oh, Volkov. Wakes up in the big with Ace King suited. Three betted. I like you. You play to so get the fun. last 70 in there. Yeah, I like him. <laughs> no stress. No, no, I like him. I play fast too. Ace, ace, five, and the no, no, king no queen point, suited. Uh, possible, possible <laughs> combination. <With> so <laughs> few outs. Running spades, running ten jack. <laughs> I knew that was the problem. And that's that it. <laughs> Ace is full for Volkov. Chip leader here. No more possible. As <laughs> two casualties in short order mm. here at the feature. Especially again, broken record, but the structure of this tournament 90 minute clocks. So forgiving can just get away with doing a lot more flatting there. The deck running rich now, and unfortunately on this occasion for Rosilio, his is a blend not quite as rich as that which has paid a visit to Nugibara. Two kings. And this is really going to look suspect, Henry. The guy is just V-pipping at levels that one never ever assumes is... 100% credible. When will someone dig in? Well, Rosilio only joined this feature table 30 minutes ago or so, but... Yeah, he's unaware. I mean, has he seen enough, though? I mean, this guy's been involved. Does all the money find its way in the middle? Low jack v plus one. Does not. Rosilio playing it as a flat call and there are problems on the horizon for him. Top pair, top kick. No spade on board. The 10 is relevant. Nugibauer with the over pair. I mean, this is just going to be showers, right? 360 out there. It's hard to imagine worlds in which Rosilio's fate is not somewhat predetermined, bar improvement. I'm on a 20. Continues for one third on a very wet and connected board. But one he's not fearful of, in particular given the presence of the King of Hearts. There really aren't many great turn cards for us, even with Ace Queen. I mean, King, Jack, Hart gets uncomfortable. Yeah, it's the cards seven and below that are in a heart, really, that are the cozy ones. But maybe if he plays this as a flat and something damp enough surfaces on the turn, there are escape hatches available. Ace of hearts, jack of hearts. Well, the ace obviously would hit Rosilio, forgive me, but... Let's see. Check raise to 290. The fuse is lit here. Do we ask for the rest now? 
I think we do. Don't hate trapping. But there's enough out there already. To just play for it all as he does announce himself. Yep. And Rosilio obviously not in love. The jam here, the instances in which we beat the opposition, I think is the ace jack ace king of hearts sort of kit take another two minutes. yeah I mean looks like a bit of posturing perhaps for pay jumps there isn't any on the horizon yeah 53 remaining we're going to be at a flat 27,100 all the way up until 47th when we get a jump of about 3600 I mean I say posturing I, I do apologize this is a genuine decision here this isn't just for a pay jump this is for a potential 2 million chip pot with 52 players left and 1.5 million for first we've got top top and our opponents jammed on us but he can't get away from it Ali yeah and it goes wow Two to come, he still has 20% equity, but a 4-1 to one dog for his tournament life here in the main is Hen Rosilio. The late arrival here at this feature table up against the Austrian Neugebauer, who has his sights set with 2.1 million in the break. middle. We move to inside. Uh, what our table number? Oh, okay. Turn is as dry as it gets. A veritable Kalahari desert in the form of the Dusa clubs. Can Rosilio find the needed queen or ace on his feet? Doesn't appear particularly optimistic. Maybe trying to use a little reverse psychology with the deck. Ineffectively, though. Jack of Diamonds One more hand. will polish off his remains. One more hand. And that'll do it. For Hen Rosilio, 52nd place. 27,100. Ask yourselves whether or not you'd find the escape with Ace Queen in the spot as played. Does wait way for Martinson, who's not going to get super out of line with this Queen 4 offsuit on the button. He's going to allow Adamski to create some action from the small blind. He is covered by the big blind. <laughs> the big blind before I heard Ansky even ask is like, hey, get the big chips up front, I want to see. that. Does that play in your mind, Randy, that... Well, Nosh Bauer's going to have a hand. Oh, he does have a hand! Jammed! And he's going to find out it's 20 bigs. And six is Randy, surely too much of a hand to fold. I think this is too much. There we go. Flicks it in, and Adamski's going to be delighted to see he's flipping. So many of the snap calls were dominating him. Huge flip out of nowhere, 2.7 million chips. Damski just ripping 20 bigs, getting action. Yeah, this escalated quickly once he asked how many big chips you got, even though action <laughs> wasn't to him yet. But here <laughs> yeah. we go, to a flop. Safe for the sixes. 9 9 4. Damski needing to find some paint. We're running straight. Turn of no use. One card from Elimination. Needs that Queen or Jack for Damski to stay in here. And that's the end. It is GG's for Damski. Ooh. Here we go. Blind and blind against the action man. Got what, 13, 14 blinds and a monster. This is a monster off of this stack of 13 blinds. I guess we could raise it up. I like a raise, but not all in. You know, say make it like three blinds or so. You want to charge the big blind to see free flops. He's actually pretty unlucky from Sochi's point of view that no one's open before him. Because this would be a lovely spot to get a jam in. Over and open, but as it is, he plays the hand he's dealt. Oh, 
And he's gone for the... There is a chance that Rajanovsky says, well, I've got an ace, it's blind versus blind, let me just rip it in. He has he got does. a lid. Trouble. Rajanovsky's jam, running into the two tens of Tochi. Of course, he is live with the over, as is often the case when you rip in an ace X hand. One of those cards is going to be live, Randy. Button to blazer. Yeah. Glasses on or not for the all-ins, do we think? Well, we do think that the tens are good on this board. Five, six, seven. A heart, a very bad card from see reducing his outs to just the black aces. Touch you with a chance to get up to 1.4 million. That's what he's going to do. Very improbable from the 350k we saw him have. A very short while ago, now has quadrupled that amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. All right, folks, we're back. I see some of you discussing the hand before the break. Nico says he definitely knows the game with 7K in cash. That's why I think he probably plays a lot online. Three bet king eight suited. Nice pro move, the perfect example. Ali can't shove when still having the short stack at the table. Yeah, I was thinking about that when I went downstairs. Like, if we are just calling pre with the tens. I feel like we have to call one and see a turn card. 
I see what you're saying about the two short stacks, but just with tens, you're going to be out of position against the chip leader. It's going to put significant pressure on you. Sometimes just to throw caution to the wind there. If we bust, it's absolutely sick, but we have a monster hand. Short-handed pocket tens. Vitaly is going to call his opponent off for eight bigs here. And bing bang boom, just like that, we have an all in and a call 4.275 million in the pot. Queen Jack suited against the King Seven of Clubs. Big moment here for both players involved. King five deuce. Something for everyone in the audience. Eight outs for Matai to survive. Three of clubs. Turn is the queen of diamonds. Additional outs now. Eleven outs as we hit the river. Tally is in the lead. River is another king. We say goodbye. Yeah, Nico says, how can I, how can I hold good it? game. <laughs> it's spelt like Matthew. Yeah, that's what I asked the last time. And hard to get the proper pronunciation there. I asked what way to say his name. A few times I said, will we call him mate? Will we call him Matthew? Will we call him Matai? I would have preferred Matthew, but GG to Matthew. I mean, I won't so he's limited the amount of fold equity there, there, but I still think he's going to probably have to goodwill punt it in. Goodwill punt in. At the very least, he's going to have to call in the big blind anyway. I just think his hand is going to be too strong. I think it was like 300 tournaments, and he had one. You get called by worse. Uh, where the first price was more than Maybe very occasionally we might see a raise fold from Vitali on the button, although that's going to be few and far between. We do go five handed, nice score for him nonetheless. He will take home 44,500 euro for his efforts. Seven fold. One fold. Blinds had gone up as well. 125, 250, 250. Hijack on his shove for just over 10. Big blinds total with Queen 10 off suit. Yeah, 2-6, my bad. Ali wants an exact count. Don't think he's going to be calling with ace-5. Does let it go. Mm. 
Well played. I mean, I would not want to play this hand against him, especially in the big court, but I have to. 125. King's just going to take down the blinds and antis there. Nico asks, what's my name? Action man, Dan. Nice to have you with us. If you're new to the channel. Nice to see so many people tuning in on this Monday night. Evening is passing us by. 20 past nine now at the King's Resort. Already live for eight hours. Five remain from a starting field entry size of 1,526. All players locking up a considerable amount of cash, but they don't want to give you that. We don't want to give you that. Paying for a lot of money. Pay jumps are so significant now. Going from 58 to 77 on the next elimination, and then from there, top three all going to get. A six-figure payday. Neutral asks, am I an active poker player? Um, I'm in college, and then the commentating suited me to do both. But I did play professionally for many a year. Robert is all in from the small, mostly online. Played online for many years, mass multi tabling and the likes. I'm hoping to play some more live. Obviously, week in, week out, watching this kind of thing makes me want to be at on the felt myself. All in and call, Queen 9 against the Ace 9. Mix in trouble. Robert be set to eliminate a very, very tough opponent in Mick. He there. Six million in this pot. Robert, a four to one favorite. Mick needing a lady and needing a lady fast. Turn seals the deal. What a nice guy, by the way. Really like commentating on this guy. He wins, loser, draws. Always smiling, laughing. We do have another elimination in quick succession. Suddenly four players remain. Mick will bow out. In fifth place, taking home 58,700 euro. And seeing how short both of those players were, Nico, I'd be ten, ten, I'm more inclined now to agree with you about that hand with the pocket tens. It just feels like we have to at least call the flop. If we're not going to call a flop when there's just one overcard out there, then we should just fold to the three bet pre almost. <laughs> Neutral says he was on the TV table at the last German poker days. I can't remember what you what was your name? Were you playing as neutral? I think you were. I do remember you. Now that you bring it to my attention. Nico saying he had Mick on his direct left on day two. It was tough to play. One of eight. Or you're playing with your real name. Yeah. Not today. Seven four. Even even for five hundred, I will fold. I guess. You're folding that hand for five hundred. I think so. Oh, Doesn't want to bet in his name. Is <laughs> bald and shoved with Jack Nine suited. Uh, I think he, I remember you coming into the chat and asking about it. What am I folding for five hundred? I mean, you should be folding like 9-5 offsuit or something. Yeah, yeah. Off. It's all coming back to me now. Yeah. I mean, queen high actually is not that bad. Like, I can call, right? But not for 2.5 bigs. Or 2 points. If anyone's asking his make bust, you are about 2 minutes too late. He has gone out in 5th place. Getting it in with queen 9 against the ace 9 of Robert, who is now playing 25.5 million in chips, and it's going to be so difficult to beat him from here. He's just got all the chips. 
the tally close to 10 mil. Ankit laddering up nicely at this FT. Finds himself four-handed with 21 big blinds and change. Queen 10 is the flop. Robert bets like less than two bigs will take this down. Yeah, it goes for 400k. Robert taking down another one with the ace 10 off suit. So here's the way it's looking four handed 108 bigs for Robert. Vitaly with 36 big blinds, Ankit with 20, and Ali with 18. Just gonna let it go on the button with King Seven off suit. Kit raising <clears throat> pocket pens here, 600k to go. Mm -hmm. 
Green Jack on the button getting out of the way. You could see a big switch in chips here because Vitali has a hand most likely going to be re jamming with four handed and pocket eights. Does move all in. Anki is going to snap him off, and we are in an 80 20 situation here. And Anki, a very powerful player, said to have over 42 big blinds or just under. Tally going to spend most of his chips. Five million. Direction. The under is going up. So he can spike an eight or something. To that effect. I'm a nine four. Turn as a jack. Or is the six of hearts? <laughs> Only going to be left with 15 bigs, won't like that. Not much you can do, and he just wants to be re jamming with. Thank you, well, well capable of raise holding there. So, with a nice comment there, the next time I'm in Rosvedov, I'll come in the comment boot and have a beer with you. You seem like a very nice guy. Well. Don't bring any beer in here to commentary, bro. <laughs> no beer until it's all said and done. But if I'm over there, it would probably be for the World Series of Poker Europe. November. For now, you do it from the comfort of Ireland. I feel like I have to do it. I feel that. Um, I mean, I was a bit curious about your opening, but you, well, the first time you opened 600, and you can still have Broadway's and stuff like that, so. It generates a lot of faults. And Ali shoving under the gun for nearly 16 pigs. Ali, of course, the hold the hand as strong as pocket sevens. Does get away from it. I had a really good hand now. This one under. Uh, it's tough. It's like it's. Big one. I still have 
Thank you. Now, playing 40 bigs almost to start the hand. Pocket sevens. Under K to go. Robert, all the chips. A very pretty hand in the big blind here. Clean jack of clubs. Nine, seven, three, two diamond set for Ahuja. A lot of equity to Robert in the form of an open ended straight draw and perceived two over cards that could be legit outs for Robert. Also, little does he know his opponent has a set. Interesting check back from Ahuja. And Robert going to bet a mill. Wow, look at that for a run out. This is sick for Ahuja. Three and a half million in this pot. Robert really wants to size up here, betting about two and a half mil. Even more. Go for pot size. 4.2 million, it looks like. 3.8 and Ahuja is just going to call that's so sick oh, he looks disgusted nothing he can do of course Ahuja forced to pay the man obviously he could just bet on the flop but that's not the way we look at things around here. So unlucky for it to come runner runner. And now Robert playing even more of a healthy stack. 33 million plus. Incredible stuff. And let's just say this as well. Tough for Ahuja not to just jam all in. Done well to just call on the river with his set. Disgusting. Disgusting. Sometimes you just gotta pay the man. What you gonna do? The way she goes. He's back down to 17 pigs now. It's not his first rodeo. He'd be great at recomposing himself. Remaining calm and cool. Neutral says, would have jammed the river and busted. Yeah, it's going to be hard for him to get paid by worse when he jams. And if he's called, then he's out. So, calling the pot size bet on the river is probably the best choice there, even if you do have a set. Now it's really interesting. 
I like it. I like the sweat. I like it as well. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> And now we're going to see some savagery from Robert. He has all the players handcuffed. Can really just go ape. Go ham. It just says maybe some two pairs call. Yeah, maybe they do. But the rest of the time you're going to get snapped off by a straight. It's not ideal. Tally will call. His hand just going to be a bit too strong. He actually hates it, given the dynamic. He does have the best of it. It's going to be a two to one favour to double up to seven million. Five offsuit against the ace ten. Here we go. I won't be betting against Robert anytime soon. King Queen eight. It's a good start for Vitali. Six outs for Robert. Turn is the tree of spades. River is the four. For a second, I lost. I was like straight. What do you think? It's a punt or no? No. If I'm the shortest. Yeah. I think I have to take the spot. I mean like two, three million, two If I had like a zoo maybe I fall but or if I had more I get like I am back. Tak bolo stres, no asi, asi to mám dobre, neviem. Keby som mal narovnáko, alebo možno 4 by som asi nahodil. Musí lebo... nahodiť vrať. Tak aj, lebo, ke, lebo keď, zaho... keď, keď, keď vyhrám, tak ja mám strašnú istotu, že som zase druhý čipoch a proste... Čo mi zase nič nedáva, ale dáva to, že môžem byť... No. Zrovna teraz si moc toho nemôžem robiť. Môžeš zase o tým šamnúť. <laughs> five eight, five hundred.
Ahuja, 15 pigs, Ace Jack off suit on the button. Take down the blinds and anties. Robert just going to be going ham here with the King Jack suited. Although, Italia is 7 million now, it's a little bit different. It's going to be raising. Italia lets it go. Pressure's on out there. Players are going to be fatiguing. They've played for many days on end. Only, only make so many good decisions in a day. Robert Min raising and Ahuja is going to oblige with the jack of five of spades. King Queen Jack two hearts is the flop. Robert's just going to bet two bigs. And for Ahuja, difficult decision here with just bottom pair. Robert will take that one down. Ahuja not going to realize his equity enough to make it a profitable call there. Especially against the chip leader, just decides to let it go. I 
didn't, uh, I was never not leaving. I did not see that he was already dealing. Like, I, I, I came back while he, he was dealing. No, I'm, I'm serious. Can you just call me maybe? Sorry, I mean, yeah. I'm not trying. Yeah. I mean, I read the uh, honest. Uh, I, know. I mean, I. Uh, I was changing him uh, the chips. Sorry, we didn't notice. Who's on the button here with King 4 off suit? It's very difficult out there at the moment. No player wants to bust before the other, and Robert gets to do whatever he wants. The big dog in the yard. Ali's going to shove her 12 bigs here, blind v blind. Robert with King 6. It's 13 blinds total, 3.3 .3 million. I don't think this is going to be good enough for him to call. Let the go. It says whoops internet downtime. Are you back with a snowboard? Back again, he says. Bird says, oh, four. that was fast. We had a few dropouts, all right, Bird. All momentum shift in Robert's direction, as I keep mentioning, but that's just the way it is. Ahuja three jams. But the ace of hearts takes it down. Brody says hello. What up, Brody? Nice to have you with us. Thank you. 
Rob's out with the 10 7 off suit. Wow, Vitali is just going to fold a hand as strong as Ace-8 suited in the cutoff. Shows how significant these pay jumps are. Uh, on the min raise with King 5 suited. Bob's going to re jam on a Huja. Down playing 133 bigs, 33.3 million. All those 30 trees in the thirds, you always say it, get me to say it on this channel. Here you go. All the trees. Ahuja from the cutoff is just going to essentially rip. It's Robert to fold a hand as strong as Jack 10 suited. Tally out there, and Ahuja will scoop the blinds and ante. He's playing 16 bigs now. Robert with 132 bigs, 21 for Vitali, 16 for Ahuja, and 12 for Ali. Robert Scoops with the Jack Four. Who did? Oh, 
five race, five hundred. Seven forty. Robert, open him with the 7-6 off suit. Now, Huja is going to exploit this light open with Jack Nine suited. Ali gonna shove sevens. We get a true. Robert in the small jack eight off suit raises to 700k, takes it down. As now I see it, uh, no duchies left at the final table. Ahuja, 10 8 all suit facing the open from Robert. Robert is able to take down so many of these small pots. The blinds and antis adding up each time, of course. 625. Decimating the stacks of his opposition. Blinds and antis just coming around so fast.
Ahuja will call and we've got an action flop here, an open ender for Robert and Ahuja with second pair. Ahuja is going to shove for 15 bigs total. Taking a stand here against Robert. Not going to allow Robert to barrel him off on the turn of the river this time. Is just going to check jam. This is for about 10% of Robert's chips and he might feel like he wants to gamble here. You see he's got a decent amount of equity. It's 3.4 million more for him to call. Interesting to see if Robert calls or folds this one. If he feels like Ahuja can be jamming hands like the one he has and this jack is live also. I feel like he has to call this off. He is in pole position. He can kind of do what he wants. If he feels like edge passing here, then so be it. Robert does call. Big moment here now for Anke Ahuja is all in 59% equity. Going to be tough to beat Robert today. Robert with 41% equity, 10 outs to eliminate Ahuja in fourth place. 9.3 million in the pot. Turn is a jack. Not a good turn card for Ahuja. Just 12% equity now. Five outs as we hit the river. River is a king and it is GG for Anka Ahuja. Robert wins another one, eliminates another player. A very, very tough player. Most experienced player remaining in the field by a landslide. Robert now approaching 40 million in chips. Good game, sir. Unlucky in the end. Come on, one more, huh? One more. So? Maybe one more. Huh? And then a photo together. He will take home 77,800 euro for his efforts. Really nice score. And that means all three remaining players have locked up. A minimum of 103,000 euro. Just incredible. <laughs> oh, 42 grand is the difference between third and second place. And then, of course, the winner going to take home the guts of a quarter of a million. 243,500 euro.
Yeah, keep in check. English list. Ah, sorry, sorry. I thought the check is okay. Five hundred, three. No problem. Seven fold. Robert going to raise the 500k. Ali is going to call in the big blind. Robert really putting on a clinic. Granted, the cards have been going his way from the get-go, but wow, he's been so good at navigating his way through this FT. I think Robert could just straight up rip that ace tree. I have to see the exact stack sizes. But it's going to be very tough for the small blind to do anything in Ali with just 10 bigs. I think it's just a jam. Master says the same in the chat. 2.4. Thank you so much. 2.4. You I have, I think, 4.5. 3. Yeah, 3. 4.5. It's getting sweaty. Really Robert takes down the blinds and antis. Ali is just going to fold. Now playing seven bigs. Just trying to see exactly how much this other, the other player has. Lines have gone up, of course, 150, 300, 300. What a position this is for Robert. This really is the stuff dreams are made of. All in with the nine, five. Okay, so Vitaly has 13 bigs to his opponent, seven. Robert has the rest of the chips in play. Robert shoving the 4 3 suited. Watching some pure ICM savagery here, three handed. It'll be very tough for Robert to not prevail as the Eureka main event champion live from the King's Resort in Rosvedov on this Monday night, but I've seen stranger things happen. Ali Chauvin in the small, Robert gonna call him in the big. I actually wonder, should he just fold there? 
and keep the dynamic going. I wonder about that one. If he folds, he could just keep shoving on them. He doesn't want to double up anyone. And yes, it is only for five bigs. There might be more merit to passing there and continuing the three-handed play. Any less, I think he just has to call. And any more, he could just fold. I just feel like you could just give Ali the pot there and keep hammering away at them instead of doubling, doubling up a player. It doesn't really matter too much. And we did have a queen high hand. It's not like it was just some random garbage. Ali going to be playing 12 bigs now. I don't know how much it matters actually because he's still going to be able to shove on them. So I kind of take back what I just said because whether he doubles them up to 12, now he can just start ham, going ham and shoving any two for the most part. I'm not sure what you think about that in the chat. Never mind the chat pros. Is there any ICM pros out there? <laughs> I think overall, though, even if you double them up, it doesn't really change the dynamic too much. You can still just start shoving all in. Now we have? I have a 3.650 behind. So 3.9 have you. 3.60 behind. Uh, no, this game is so stupid. I can't believe but the page up is like 44,000. I think it's insane. <laughs> right? The chat going a bit Give me mental. Yeah, for sure. Five rates, Ali. Uh, Come on, lads. It's been, <laughs> it's been an epic two days. Nobody giving out. Our one guy calling me boring. We've always won. Far from boring, this team is. It's been an exhilarating day of action, fast paced, it's had it all. It's been all one way traffic in that man's direction. One time fall? Maybe? No? Five race all in. Robert getting a walk just as well. Ace King suited. He's been showing a few hands. Sometimes this is how good you gotta run. Take down such big events with giant fields. Number fifteen hundred entries. Sorry. Three is the magic number. Yeah, I know what you mean, but uh, let's play. I still want to fight for the first in case I. Uh, okay. Five race, Olin. Seven four, five eight. Look at this, Vitaly forced to fold a hand as strong as King-10 suited there in the big blind. Um, I really don't know about that. It feels like that's right on the line of being too strong to fold. Five rays, all in.
Don't want to be too harsh, but that feels like a missed opportunity to try double up there. And yes, there's a 40 grand difference between third and second. But if you're going to have any chance of taking down this title, it seems like King Ten Suit is a good hand to gamble with. Sub 10 bigs, blind v blind. Especially when he's just going to keep jamming all in, Robert. Got to take that opportunity to double up. And he snap folded as well. Like I always talk about on this channel, decision fatigue. You can only make so many good decisions in one day. And he has a lot of money in his life, total live earnings on Hendon Mob, but I feel like that's a mistake he will regret later. Robert shoves, Vitaly folds, especially when the blinds and antis are going to keep hammering away at you, as well as Robert shoving all in all the time. I think that was an ideal opportunity to take a stand against Rob shoving in the small. It's not like... Ali had three bigs or four bigs. They had a very similar stack. And although they are battling for second place, King Ten suited for my money, just going to be too strong. Anyway, moving on. There's going to be no chips left in a moment if this keeps going like this. Wow. What a final table it's been for Robert. Seven fold. Three fold. Robert getting a walk and now you see Ali's gonna be playing four bigs. I want to give a massive thanks to the moderators who've been helping all day today and even yesterday on St. Patrick's Day. It means a lot to me and indeed the King's production team. Two million. Five raise, two million. And all the new names in the chat intrigued by the great game of No Limit Hold'em, asking all the right questions, keeping the chat going, keeping things interesting, yeah, keeping me on my toes even if I am sitting down. And down. Just like 44,000 euro. Yeah, they really are. A lot of money. A lot of cheddar. So sick. So basically being blinded out here. This is unbelievable. Not something you see every day. Always a surprise around the corner at Kings. It's no surprise who's going to take down this event. We've seen players come back from a 10 to 1 deficit before, heads up, but this is different gravy. And Ali is going to fold in the small blind with two bigs with pocket eights. I believe that's because the big blind is going to be all in by default. I still feel like pocket eights might be too strong. I really don't know. He is all in by default. Did we just fall and get the jump? So Ali will fold. Rob will shove. Five Big blind going to be all in by default. Five, six, 150k behind. And although we're getting seven calls, comments coming in like this is beyond ridiculous, that pocket eight might 
have just netted him an extra 44k. Robert, two to one favourite to eliminate Vitali in third place, and that would mean Ali would get the pay jump. Vitali would come in third place. This is so, so sick. Here we go. Queen 6 4. The lady coming for Robert, and now just a king needed a king's, or it is GG for Vitali. Turn is a heart. It's the Jack of Hearts giving 36% equity now for Vitali to double up the four big blinds. 15 outs to be precise. Here we go. It's the four of clubs. And we lose Vitali in third place. And that means that pocket eights fold in the small blind with just two big blinds. Nets him an extra 44,000 euro. Vitali should be very happy with his performance. It's not much you can do against <laughs> opposition like this. Unbelievable what we're witnessing. He will take down over 100,000 euro for his efforts. Kamikaze buggy with the comment of the day. Action Man Dan and the King's Resort Rosvedov, the highest quality poker stream available in the world. Unbelievable comment, Kamikaze buggy. Nice to have you with us. Thank you very much. If you're new to the channel, be sure to give us a like, subscribe, and a follow on YouTube or the Poker Room Kings on Twitch. What a dream, dream scenario this is. Robert has them all in. Ali has fumes. It ain't over till it's over. Here we go. My money would be on Robert at this, this stage. And Ali going to need help, and that is the help he's looking for. An eight. Turn is the ten of spades. When I win this hand, I win the tournament. River is the nine. Whoa, I just thought Robert won there for a second, but it is Ali with two pair. No, my dear Lachey, I Three big blinds playing, basically 150. How would you like those apples? Best of luck to Aram Ali. We're back next weekend as well for the Masters Poker Open, the DAC. D-A-C-H, 300k guaranteed in that one. And I will be back in the boot for that one next Sunday and Monday. It looks like they are going to make some form of a heads up battle out of this. They never got the, the photo. If I was Ali now, I'd be hugging that lad, grabbing onto him, maybe even kiss his forehead. Get all the run good and energy that I could from him before sitting down. Otherwise, it could all be over in an instant. For a mill, yeah, 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 yeah. we're going to call it a tree suited. 
This could be it. I say this could be it. It could be a double up for Ali Robert, though. I wouldn't be backing or betting against that man today. 33% with the 8 3 of clubs. Eight in the window, eight seven four. Wow, three to one favorite now for Robert to take down this title right here, right now. Yep, turn is a tree. Two pair now for Robert as we hit the riv. Six outs in the deck for Ali, and that's not one of them. It's the ace of spades. It is all over. Robert has decimated this final table in record time and extraordinary fashion. Congratulations to him. What a victory it is. 243,000 euro. 243,500 euro. And what a score it is for Ali as well. Nothing you can do there. Got the 44k pay jump. Right, guys, I'm going to let this guy enjoy his moment. What an epic stream it was. Thanks to everyone once again. I will see you all next weekend. Catch me if you can. I've been Action Man Dan. Good night.